Chapter 801 Magical Arts Translator Born to be these are some weapons and medicinal pills I gathered. Please accept, said Long Chen. This is really too much. The old tribe leader didn't know what to say. Touched by the old tribe leader's generosity, Long Chen naturally couldn't be stingy. He had directly filled this spatial ring with all the enchanted weapons he had gathered. From the old tribe leader, he had learned that they had exceedingly few weapons and medicinal pills, because the aboriginals did not possess alchemy or forging inheritances. Furthermore, they had just been some ordinary guards originally. To put it more frankly, they had just been workers, and they had relied entirely on resources from the higher-ups to cultivate. Once the immemorial path had crumbled, although they had been able to obtain some cultivation techniques and secret arts within some trials, they hadn't obtained any legacies on alchemy and forging. As a result, they had very little in that regard. Later, they had been attacked, and both sides had treated the other as prey. The invaders had placed their sights on the Yuan spirit stones the aboriginals had. While the aboriginals needed the invaders' weapons and medicinal pills, the invaders could only stay for a year in the immemorial path. That one year was too precious for them, so they had to focus all their energy on the trials. If they tried to go searching for Yuan spirit stones, then time might be up before they even found a good vein. So the outside world's disciples had two goals, passing the trials and plundering the aboriginals. The other sect's elders had definitely explained everything clearly to their disciples. But Ouyang Kiyuayu hadn't. She had let them enter and see things for themselves. Ouyang Kiyuayu was very much a leader who liked her people to be independent. She always let her disciples do what they wanted, believing that experts were tempered through endless trials. The more you gave them, the more resources you thrust upon them, the less it would benefit them. So other than the must-have things, she hadn't given any of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples anything. She liked Long Chen's character. He was fearless and a maverick. And it was precisely because she liked him that she didn't concern herself with him. As soon as Long Chen had entered, he had used Xu Guan's his blood to open the prologue of his journey in the immemorial path. He had killed many people on his journey, and he had obtained many things. He now had hundreds of enchanted items and mountains of medicinal pills. 99% of those were from killing people. Although the old tribe leader had lived for countless years, he was still shocked by Long Chen's capital. He had never seen this many resources. Although giving Long Chen so many Yuan spirit stones would make the Xiao tribe a bit hard-pressed for money in the upcoming days, compared to the grace Long Chen bestowed upon them, it was absolutely nothing. Now that Long Chen gave him his own gift, the old tribe leader felt that they were even more precious than the Yuan spirit stones. That was because they didn't lack Yuan spirit stones in the immemorial path. Don't refuse. I don't like beating around the bush. If you don't accept, I'll have to return your Yuan spirit stones laughed Long Chen. All right, then I'll represent the Xiao tribe to thank you, said the old tribe leader gratefully. These things are just trash to me. In the future, I'll get more and more, but Yuan spirit stones are different. I'm the one who's getting the most profit out of this trade, laughed Long Chen. His words were correct. To Long Chen, those things were garbage. Although he still needed to equip the dragon blood legion, that wasn't something urgent. In the immemorial path, was he lacking enemies? Just how many days had he been inside? He had fought many battles. And as for weapons? He would get too many to use. As for medicinal pills, they were true trash. Long Chen usually only ate medicinal pills that he personally refined, as those were the most effective. But these pills were still priceless treasures to the Xiao tribe. Long Chen, I'll have to leave for now to make proper arrangements for these medicinal pills and weapons. Later tonight, I'll open our Xiao tribe's treasury for you. You can see if you are interested in any of the magical arts there. Old brother Mew still has some things he wants to say to you. So you can chat. The old tribe leader left, leaving behind only Long Chen and the white-eyed elder. Senior, you wanted to talk to me about something. Long Chen felt a bit odd sitting alone with this elder. He always felt him to be extremely strange. This is my identity plate. Take it. If you need help from any aboriginals, then you only need to show it and they'll immediately do their best to assist you. The white-eyed elder took off a jade plate he carried on his waist and handed it to Long Chen. Long Chen received it. He saw runes around a single eye in the center. That eye had a mysterious image carved into it. It seems senior status is truly extraordinary, said Long Chen. If just a jade plate could win him the trust of the aboriginals whom he should be mortal enemies with, then his status must be truly shocking. However, he didn't sense the slightest cultivation-based fluctuations from this elder, even right in front of him. 
If he didn't look at him with his eyes, he wouldn't be able to sense his existence. It was like he wasn't even a part of this world. The aboriginals are pitiful existences that were abandoned. I hope that you can look after them to the best of your ability, said the white-eyed elder. Senior overestimates me. I'm just a trial taker, and amongst the other trial takers, I have countless mortal enemies. Who knows whether I can even protect myself? Long Chen bitterly smiled. What kind of joke was this? How did he have that much ability? Of just the ones he knew, there were four peak experts. Zhu Yu, Wang Junmo, Yu Changheo, and Ji Chang Kong. Just Zhu Yu had forced Long Chen to the point that he had used up all his power. Just protecting himself was troublesome enough, let alone all the aboriginals. Long Chen never promised to do things he couldn't do. That's fine. All I'm asking is for you to do your best. I don't have any evil intent, laughed the white-eyed elder. However, his smile contained a profound meaning. Seeing that the white-eyed elder had nothing else left to say, Long Chen stood and said his goodbyes. For some unknown reason, he felt an uneasy feeling while sitting with the white-eyed elder. When he came out, he saw that Xiao Fei had long since been waiting for him. He pulled Long Chen to their treasury of magical arts. The Xiao tribe's magical art treasury wasn't as secret as Long Chen had imagined. It was just within an ordinary room. Because the Xiao tribe didn't have any outsiders, these secret tomes could be freely read by anyone. However, these magical arts all had cultivation base restrictions, and people below certain levels were strictly forbidden to read through them. Trying to use a magical art before you were ready could easily cause injury, and perhaps even cause you to become bedeviled. Big Brother Long Chen these are all the magical arts our Xiao tribe have gathered over the years. There are 23, and you can see if there are any suitable to you, said Xiao Fei. The current Xiao Fei had already become a rank 3 celestial. Although he was still in the Xi'anshan realm, he was stronger than sea expansion experts. At the same time as he was excited, Xiao Fei also felt an emotion that he couldn't describe toward Long Chen. From other people, he had learned of how Long Chen had activated his power despite being restricted by his heart devil. In his eyes, Long Chen was no longer a human, but a god. Long Chen didn't stand on courtesy. He went through the magical arts one by one. He couldn't help being excited. After all, magical arts were usually only things that sea expansion experts could use. But when he had exchanged blows with Zhu Yu, he had found that despite him being in the Xi'anshan realm, Zhu Yu had still been able to easily activate magical arts. Raging Flame Prison. Long Chen's eyes brightened. This was an exceedingly powerful magical art. Big Brother Long Chen, this magical art is something only flame attribute experts can use, reminded Xiao Fei. Aren't your words a bit stupid? Which alchemist doesn't use flames? Long Chen was speechless. Xiao Fei came to a sudden comprehension, but this couldn't be blamed on him. The immemorial path didn't have any alchemists, and so he didn't know anything about them. Long Chen immediately began to study it. He directly sealed the contents of the tome into his memory so he could slowly study it in the future. In just a couple of hours, Long Chen had sealed all the magical arts into his memory. He was delighted to find that quite a few of them were exceedingly powerful, and once they were used, their power could be limitless. Big Brother Long Chen, do none of them pique your interest. Xiao Fei was disappointed, because Long Chen only briefly looked through all of them. He hadn't gotten engrossed and studied even a single one. Foolish child. I've already memorized all these magical arts. I can slowly study them in the future, said Long Chen. You memorized them all. Xiao Fei jumped. These magical arts were recorded through graphics, not words. Just looking at them would require a large amount of spiritual strength. An ordinary person would exhaust their spiritual strength by just looking through one of them once. So a single magical art would normally take months to learn. But Long Chen had just used a couple of hours to memorize all of these magical arts. Despite how much Xiao Fei worshipped Long Chen, he couldn't believe it. Long Chen smiled and didn't bother explaining. He had no interest in the other battle skills they had here. So he left. He directly went to say goodbye to the old tribe leader. The old tribe leader had long since been prepared for that. But Xiao Fei, Xiao Yu, and Xiao Ling clearly were reluctant to part with him. Big brother Long Chen, you really can't stay for a few more days begged Xiao Fei with red eyes. Long Chen patted him on the shoulder. Even staying a few days wouldn't change the fact that I have to leave. Even if I stayed for a year, we would still have to part. You're already a rank 3 celestial now. Work hard on cultivating. Don't bother with the laws of the immemorial path. Rules were made to be broken, and targets are made to be exceeded. Just because others couldn't doesn't mean you won't be able to. 
Heaven and earth are just a cage, and as long as you are strong enough, you can break them to win your freedom. Long Chen's meaning was that Xiao Fei shouldn't resign himself to the limits of this world. He should have the courage to fight against the loss here. In truth, he was saying these words for himself, because that was what he always had to do. Long Chen's solitary figure slowly faded in front of the gazes of every member of the Xiao tribe. Eventually, he completely disappeared. Chapter 802 Guo Ran's Golden Yang Finger Translator Born to be leaving the Xiao tribe, Long Chen's heart felt heavy. Who would have thought that saving a person would have drawn on so many things? Although he had given the Xiao tribe all those weapons and medicinal pills, Long Chen still felt that he owed the Xiao tribe an immense debt. Yuan's spirit stones had essentially gone extinct from the world. They were things that could only be found on the immemorial path. Yuan spirit stones contained the most primal energy of the world. Compared to the spirit stones Long Chen used, they were on a completely different level. On the Martial Heaven continent, just how many spirit stones would you have to offer to buy a single Yuan spirit stone? Long Chen didn't even know if it was possible. Furthermore, he had also learned many magical arts. Those were priceless treasures. He had obtained far too much during his trip to the Xiao tribe. As he advanced, he quickly left the wilderness and reapproached the main path. He held an incredibly detailed map of the immemorial path. The map didn't just show the blocks, but also places impossible to cross. Due to it, Long Chen quickly found the closest part of the main path. Furthermore, all the trials on the path were marked. The one he had previously entered had been called the Mortal Molting Trial. He also finally learned what the Divine Mortal Molting Elixir was. But he learned it was only useful to the trial takers and useless to the aboriginals. So the old tribe leader had declined to take any. Pausing, Long Chen took a close look at the map. He saw that the closest trial was marked with an insect symbol. Insect Island. Just what kind of trial is it? Long Chen was startled. The old tribe leader had told him that they had been in charge of guarding a certain trial before the immemorial path had crumbled. But after that immense battle, countless people had died, and the ground had been broken. Some trials had directly fallen into the abyss and forever disappeared. The majority of the trials were still present, but many of the original guards had disappeared during the battle. That battle scope exceeded the limits of the human imagination. According to the old tribe leader, their record said that their ancestors hadn't seen anyone fighting. All they had seen was the sky constantly tearing. Lightning had shaken the land, and stars had collapsed. Divine rays had pierced through the void. It had truly been an apocalyptic battle. Afterward, the immemorial path was fragmented and some trials had fallen into cracks. But the old tribe leader sternly warned Long Chen that he absolutely could not go into the abyss. That battle might have occurred countless years ago, but there was still remnant divine energy in the abyss. If you entered, your soul would be directly destroyed. Long Chen quickly found the quickest path, but he needed to cross seven regions to get there, because there was an abyss that was too large to cross blocking his way. As soon as he reached the main path again, he began to sense people secretly watching him. They should also be trial takers that were carefully advancing. They didn't dare to be careless. But there was no need for Long Chen to care about those people, as they were just weak rank 1 celestials. Their caution was because they had no confidence, and they weren't hiding to attack him. Long Chen ignored them as he advanced. He crossed through three blocks and passed a mountain. There was a wide open space ahead. He suddenly chuckled. He saw a group of people, and within that group, he saw a figure that was an extreme poser. Yes, it was Guo Ran. Long Chen found a place with good Feng Shu to watch. He hid himself, watching as Guo Ran faced over ten corrupt experts. Behind Guo Ran were two women whose clothes had been torn. Those robes marked them as members of the righteous path. They were pale, obviously having been injured. Guo Ran stood in front of them, his chest puffed out, looking like someone who didn't fear heaven or earth, as if the heavens were his junior. TCH. He was clearly trying to act like a hero saving beauties. Those two women were just ordinary celestials, but they were facing 13 experts from the corrupt path. One of them had a powerful aura and was clearly a rank 3 celestial. According to reason, these women shouldn't have the slightest ability to resist in front of them. How had they been injured? But after just a moment's thought, he understood. The corrupt path's people were just that monstrous. They clearly wanted to assault these women. They were playing a game of cat and mouse to tire them out. That was the only reason these two had lived to encounter Guo Ran. Brazen corrupt idiots. It's broad daylight. You're still not kneeling in the presence of your daddy. Guo Ran shouted furiously, pointing at the corrupt experts in front of him. Long Chen almost laughed. 
In the beginning, he had thought that Guo Ran had been pointing out the broad daylight as a reference to their terrible actions, but it was actually just to be a poser. Amazing. Truly amazing. Those corrupt experts had originally encountered a group of righteous disciples. They had immediately attacked them, and with only seven people on the righteous path side, the men had been killed, and they had been preparing to use those two women. Before using them, they would have a different kind of fun. They had allowed them to run, then caught them, groped them, and then allowed them to continue. They had enjoyed that game very much. They would continue until they were too weary to continue or perhaps until they gave up. Then after using them, they would kill them. Furthermore, the women that they used would always have their heads cut off to use as a commemoration. These two had already been about to give up in despair, but then they had encountered another righteous disciple. The thing they found inconceivable was that despite him clearly being a rank 2 celestial, his aura was incredibly weak, almost weaker than a rank 1 celestial, but this fellow seemed to be suicidal. Despite being so weak, he had cursed these people without the slightest fear. In fact, he looked at those corrupt experts contemptuously. That made them wonder. Anomalies could result in abnormal results. Those that could enter the immemorial path were the major sect's best disciples. There wasn't one useless fool. Guo Ran's flashy display had actually temporarily subdued the corrupt experts. As for the two women, they were incredibly excited to see someone come out to save them. But then seeing his cultivation base, their hearts sank. Report your name, shouted the rank 3 celestial icily. Guo Ran laughed. Ha ha ha, stand steady. Try not to collapse once you hear my name. My grand name is reputed. My reputed name is grand. A bloody blade shakes the world. The mighty eastern wasteland's number one handsome man. Long Chen. What? All the corrupt experts involuntarily took a few steps back, looking at Guo Ran with shock. Kama Long Chen's brother. Guo Ran. Guo Ran patted himself on the chest arrogantly. You little fucker. One of the corrupt experts finally couldn't bear it anymore. Long Chen's name had truly frightened them. Thinking of the possibility that Long Chen had disguised himself, their hearts had risen into their throats. But then it wasn't. They felt humiliated, and one of them immediately charged forward to tear Guo Ran apart. Die. Guo Ran disdainfully pointed his finger. A golden light shot out, and that corrupt expert didn't even have a chance to react before being struck. The golden light pierced the corrupt man's body. It was unknown what happened inside him, but his body instantly exploded into a bloody mist. Idiots. If I had no ability, how would I be qualified to follow Boss Long Chen? Said Guo Ran disdainfully. A powerful enemy was killed with a single blow. Those two women behind him were stunned. So this Guo Ran was actually a deeply hidden expert. They were both startled and delighted. Did you see it? That was my Jade Tree Wind Misty Unrevealed Max Instant Flash Kill Golden Yang Finger. I developed that technique all on my own, and it's unique within the whole eastern wasteland, claimed Guo Ran. Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head. Shameless. Truly shameless. Too shameless. What golden yang finger? That was clearly a spring-loaded arrow, because there were no spiritual yuan fluctuations, only the activation of a mechanism, added on the short distance and the suddenness. The corrupt disciple hadn't even understood what had happened before dying, although he hadn't seen it clearly. Long Chen knew this had to be a new concealed arrow Guo Ran had developed. Its killing power was truly impressive. It actually contained an explosive effect. Other than admiring Guo Ran's new invention, he also felt far inferior to him in terms of the thickness of his skin. Even the rank 3 celestial was intimidated now. The thing that made Long Chen speechless was the fact that they now believed Guo Ran's words. Guo Ran looked at them disdainfully, filled with pride. He had held himself back for too long outside. Now. He finally had a chance to show off. You rank 1 Celestials. Just kill yourselves. Only rank 3 Celestials are qualified to have me personally kill them. Said Guo Ran indifferently. Clasping his hands behind his back. The two women were stunned. He was actually so strong that he thought he could kill them all. Courting death. The rank 3 Celestial finally couldn't bear it any longer. Countless runes surged out of him. And a terrifying pressure descended. The black spear in his hand stabbed toward Guo Ran with boundless killing intent. The black spear emitted an ear-piercing sonic boom. That power could easily shatter mountains. This was a rank 3 celestial's true power. A power that could practically one-shot rank 2 celestials. Long Chen smiled slightly. Guo Ran liked to be mysterious all the time. Previously, when he had asked Guo Ran to show him some of his moves, he had stubbornly refused. Now he wanted to see just how this fellow had developed. The two women were appalled.
They were clearly affected by the corrupt expert's power. His attack could easily kill them. P.O.W. Suddenly, a metallic sound rang out explosively. A golden hand firmly caught the black spear. Chapter 803 Golden Battle Armor Translator Born to be everyone was shocked. In the blink of an eye, Guoran had turned into a golden armor monstrosity. The armor looked absolutely seamless, as if it had grown on top of him. It emitted an absolutely terrifying aura. The rank 3 celestial spear was caught so easily by Guoran's metallic arm. Let alone them, even Long Chen was startled. Long Chen could clearly see that the instant Guo Ran had caught his opponent's spear, all his runes on his armor had flashed. That spear's energy was instantly absorbed. Although he didn't know what was going on, it seemed that this little fellow had truly made great gains on the Zhuanshan Dao sect's Netherworld Heaven Staircase. That weapon forging diagram he had obtained had clearly benefited him immensely, allowing him to gain a much more solid foundation and to comprehend a greater level of the ethereal crafting secret record. Those runes were actually able to consume an opponent's spiritual yuan. Such runes were too abnormal. It was no wonder he was so brazen now. He had the power to back it up. Girls, get further back. I wouldn't want you to get splashed with blood. Guo Ran turned his head to look at the two of them. Those two now saw that Guo Ran's helmet had a pair of golden wings, and there was even a sinister looking horn on his forehead. His voice was metallic now, and it was truly chilling. The two of them hastily turned and fled. As for the rank 3 celestial, he was absolutely startled, and he tried to pull back his spear, but no matter how hard he tried, he was unable to bring it back. The two of them were in a deadlock. Then Guo Ran suddenly let go, and the rank 3 celestial was caught off guard. He blew back, hastily stabilizing himself. The instant he let go, a golden saber appeared in Guo Ran's hand. It actually had the exact same form as Long Chen's blood drinker. His saber slashed down on the dumbfounded corrupt experts. They had never seen such a monstrous person. Furthermore, Guo Ran's attack style was definitely lacking morals. It was the same as Wilde's. Because of his armor, his own power was multiplied over a hundred times. He didn't even use any spiritual yuan. Others weren't able to sense any mental or spiritual lock from his attack, and so they were unable to instinctively predict what he was doing. They could only judge with their eyes, but without sensing those fluctuations. Relying on only eyes would cause them to react one step slower. Boom. Everything happened too suddenly, and the eleven of them didn't even have a chance to retreat. Their endings were extremely sorrowful. Although Guo Ran's cultivation base was garbage and his aura was almost weaker than even a rank 1 celestial, Long Chen had given him quite a few special medicinal pills. With so much special attention, Guo Ran's physical strength had been greatly improved. There was no way for him to compare to someone like Gu Yang. But physically, he was much stronger than other rank 2 celestials now. When his armor multiplied his power by a hundred times, there was no way these people could resist. Their weapons instantly shattered, and they were blown to pulp. A long gorge appeared in the land. Guo Ran rested his golden saber on his shoulder and icily looked at the stunned rank 3 celestial. He appeared incredibly domineering. Long Chen was speechless. He hadn't expected this signature move of his to have been copied so perfectly by Guo Ran. His act was incredibly marvelous and delightful to watch. You should bring out your full strength while you still can, said Guo Ran coldly to the rank 3 celestial. Guo Ran was completely covered in his armor, but where his eyes should be, there were two black gems. It was unknown what runes he had carved onto them, but they looked similar to eyes. From those two gems, he had an even wider range of view than with his own eyes. Bastard, I don't believe I can't break your damn tortoise shell, raged the rank 3 celestial. Blood key soared out of him. A blood-colored mark lit up on his forehead. His appearance suddenly changed, becoming as sinister as a ghost, and his aura leaked. Black mist came from his spear. He had fully activated this enchanted item. A terrifying pressure shook the air as he smashed it at Guo Ran. Boom. Guo Ran simply raised his saber. When the black spear collided with it, sparks flew and the land crumbled. The ground sank a great deal. Long Chen nodded. Guo Ran truly was a prodigy. Through his armor. His power was definitely amazing. Guo Ran began a fierce battle with the rank 3 celestial. Golden light flashed and whistling winds erupted. It was extremely imposing. The thing that Long Chen found curious was that this time, Guo Ran's armor was much more flexible than before. His actions were very natural without any of the rigidity of the armor. It was like his armor was a part of him. It was no longer as inflexible as back in the Jiuli secret realm. Furthermore, he had also imitated Long Chen's saber techniques. With his crazy slashes, 
the rank 3 celestial was unable to do anything to him. However, armor is armor. It can't possibly be as agile as the physical body. There are still flaws in his moves. But when you factor in his immense power and flawless defense, it makes up for it. Although Guo Ran's armor was extremely startling, it was still armor. It restricted a person's agileness. However, this armor allowed his power to greatly increase. It was made of the treasure item fragments Long Chen had given him. Thus, it was incomparably sturdy. Sometimes the rank 3 celestial spear would slip past his saber to strike him, but it merely left behind the slightest mark. There was essentially no damage. You bastard. All you rely on is outer power. If it weren't for this damn tortoise shell, could you receive a single one of my attacks? Raged the corrupt expert. In terms of power, he was evenly matched with Guo Ran. But in terms of defense, he suffered greatly. When his attack struck Guo Ran, there was no damage. As for Guo Ran, he ignored his attacks to hack his saber at him. It was an absolutely shameless method of fighting. The rank 3 celestial had tried several strategies, but he had still been unable to break Guo Ran's defense, infuriating him so much that he roared in rage. But he was helpless. Fuck. What do you mean a tortoise shell? How dare you humiliate my grand invention? Raged Guo Ran. He suddenly raised a hand, and countless holes appeared. Seeing those holes, the rank 3 celestial's hair stood on end. A sensation of death instantly filled his heart. Without even thinking about it, he turned tail and fled. Hundreds of black lights shot out like lightning. They instantly reached him. Although he had condensed a runic shield at the first instance to protect himself, the corrupt celestial was still pierced. Hundreds of sharp needles pierced his body. Even a rank 3 celestial's physical body wasn't able to block such high-speed needles. Those were no ordinary needles. They were treasures Guo Ran had exhausted a great deal of effort to forge. Normally, he was extremely unwilling to use them. That was because of the armor-breaking runes he had carved onto them. Those runes would lose effect after one use. In other words, he had just lost these hundreds of needles in this one attack. Forging these was no easy task. It would probably take him over 10 days to forge them again. If the corrupt celestial hadn't cursed his armor for being a tortoise shell, he wouldn't have wasted them. Bastard. Just wait. The rank 3 celestial was covered in blood now. He immediately began to heal. But he knew that staying behind didn't have any benefits. He suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood onto his hand. And drew a diagram in the air. Celestial corrupt blood shield. That image merged into his body. And he instantly turned into a ray of light. Arriving a hundred miles away in an instant. Guo Ran was stunned. It was already too late for him to catch up. He could only watch as he fled. And he couldn't help but curse. However, he was helpless. Just wait. Next time, I'll smash apart your stupid tortoise shell and tear your corpse apart. The rank 3 celestial didn't forget to furiously shout to release his anger as he hastily fled for his life. Suddenly, a saber image slashed down. That saber image was incredibly powerful, and it directly blew the corrupt celestial to pieces. We're all busy, so who has time to wait for next time? A lazy voice rang out and a figure appeared in Guo Ran's line of sight. Ha 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 ha. Boss, Guo Ran was delighted. He had never expected Long Chen to appear now. Little fellow, you're quite the show off. Even I've been surpassed by you, said Long Chen. He, boss, I don't deserve that. Showing off while standing behind you is my greatest goal, laughed Guo Ran. If you really had wanted to kill him, I trust that he wouldn't even have had the ability to run. You really are strong now. Long Chen gave him a thumbs up. He understood Guo Ran far too well. He, yes, you're right. Killing him isn't anything difficult, but it would waste several months of my work. I'm too unwilling. I'm saving that for a bigger stage. Guo Ran laughed mischievously. As expected, this fellow was truly sinister. He was leaving behind his trump cards to con even more people. This kind of planning was truly laudable. Let's go. I'll bring you to the trial regions, said Long Chen. He, I can finally fight alongside boss. Eh, hey, where did those two girls go? They left just like that. Guo Ran saw that those two women had completely disappeared. They had completely abandoned him. That was completely immoral. Let it be. Did you hope those two would give their hearts to you? Long Chen was speechless. He pulled Guo Ran over to the insect island. Chapter 804 Corrupt King Devil Empress Translator Born to be boss. How many battles have you fought since entering the immemorial path? Asked Guo Ran expectantly. No battles. They were just some small-scale scuffles. Said Long Chen. You. He, I fought many battles, probably dozens. I don't even know how many corrupt idiots I killed. In any case, 
I've killed 11 rank 2 celestials. He, I'll leave these spatial rings with you. If it weren't for your generous help, I wouldn't have been able to create my golden armor. After spending so much money, I'm finally getting a return. I'll quickly return all your investment back. Laugh Guo ran as he took out a mass of spatial rings. Although Long Chen hadn't haggled with him about anything and had always given him whatever he needed, Guo Ran knew that this golden armor of his was the result of Long Chen practically throwing money at him. Even he had to feel ashamed. Now he could finally return the favor. Long Chen looked at those spatial rings and shook his head. You should just give them to Sister Yu when we get back. She's the one in charge of our financing. Just looking at these things gives me a headache. Originally, the Dragonblood Legion's finances had been left to Tang Wan Er. In the beginning, she had felt her position to be very refreshing and novel, and so she had enjoyed it. But then she found that she didn't have the patience for it, and in the end, that task had been handed to King Yu. One reason was because King Yu was an extremely attentive person, and her personal relationships in the Dragonblood Legion were all very good. Another reason was that Tang Wan Er wouldn't have to hear her nagging all day. Ever since King Yu had taken over the finances, she had become busy all day. Furthermore, she was extremely earnest with her work, and she was always meticulous. It had been a very long time since Long Chen had had a long, proper conversation with King Yu. He, boss, to tell you the truth, all the money I spent really made me worry all day long, said Guo Ran. Don't say useless words. Do brothers need to say so much? Yes, boss, now that I can make my own money, I'll definitely get the most out of this golden armor. I won't disappoint you, swore Guo Ran. Did you encounter anyone we know during this time? Asked Long Chen. I encountered a few people who are relying on our sect. I did help them when they needed it. But as for our own people, I didn't encounter a single one. However, I did hear one thing. The remote heaven gang's Ji Chang Kong had a fight with sister-in-law Men Qi, said Guo Ran. Don't call her sister-in-law Men Qi in the future. And definitely don't say sister-in-law Wan Er. Their faces are too thin. Just calling them sister is fine. Did Ji Chang Kong die in the end? Asked Long Chen. Heavens, how did you know? When I heard it, I thought it would be Sister Men Qi who would be in danger. TCH, that's a joke. In the entire Dragonblood Legion, Men Qi is the strongest. For Ji Chang Kong to challenge her is just suicide, said Long Chen indifferently. Boss, you really are evil. Sister Men Qi had such a terrifying trump card, but you didn't even tell me. What was the result? Did Ji Chang Kong die? No but he did lose half of his life. I heard that when he blocked Sister Men Qi back then, his words were so crude that she was completely infuriated and summoned a terrifying magical beast. As a result, Ji Chang Kong met a tragedy. He was suppressed like a dog, and half of his body was destroyed. If he didn't use a secret art to flee in the end, he would have been killed right then and there. Just what houseput is that for it to be so terrifying? Asked Guo Ran curiously. He, a 7th rank Ride Sacred Blood Phoenix laughed Long Chen. Damn, you two really are evil. Isn't that a descendant of the Divine Phoenix? When its sacred blood is activated and its true feather attacks, I hear it can even challenge foundation forging experts, cried Guo Ran. A seventh rank magical beast corresponded to a sea expansion cultivation base. Ordinary sea expansion experts could be easily slaughtered by people like Long Chen and the others. Magical beasts were inherently stronger and the Ride Sacred Blood Phoenix was a descendant of the Divine Phoenix. With its bloodline power, its power might even surpass a rank 3 celestial in the same realm. For Ji Chang Kong to fight the Ride Sacred Blood Phoenix was like a rank 3 Xi'anshan Celestial fighting a rank 3 C Expansion Celestial. The fact that he could escape alive was already exceedingly lucky for him. Then isn't Sister Men Qi unrevealed in the immemorial path? Asked Guo Ran excitedly. Are you joking? A single powerful magical beast isn't enough to dominate the immemorial path. I personally watched someone curse a magical beast on the blood phoenix's level to death. Just thinking of Zhu Yu's Yama King blood curse gave Long Chen a sense of unease. That curse was too terrifying. To have Guo Ran reserve himself a bit, Long Chen told him about his encounter with Zhu Yu. He couldn't lose his senses and start challenging anyone, or he would lose out. Heavens, you encountered Zhu Yu, and you almost killed him? Boss. You really know how to live a life, said Guo Ran worshipfully. You know Zhu Yu. Long Chen was surprised. I heard about him from some corrupt experts. In their eastern wasteland's corrupt path, there are two supreme geniuses. They are their future leaders. One is called the Corrupt King, while the other is called the Devil Empress. The Corrupt King is Zhu Yu.
He is acclaimed as an undefeatable heavenly genius, and ever since joining the corrupt path, anyone who has exchanged blows with him has died. But since you almost took his life, I'd say that you're the undefeatable heavenly genius, said Guo Ran. Originally, he had been thinking of warning Long Chen to be careful about the corrupt path. He hadn't expected that Long Chen was already acquainted with that expert and had almost taken his life. It was just a coincidence. If we were competing in terms of combat abilities, it's still unknown who would defeat Chiring Ho. But he is definitely the most terrifying opponent I've encountered so far. I trust he has many shocking trump cards that he hasn't used yet. Long Chen felt a great deal of pressure towards Zhu Yu's inexhaustible trump cards. Zhu Yu was a truly peerless expert. That's right. Who is that devil empress? Asked Long Chen. All I know is that her name is Len Yuian. Apparently, she is so beautiful that birds fall out of the sky and rivers flow backward. Her fierce methods cause even devils to shudder, ghosts to cry, and gods to weep. She's just as famous as the corrupt king, said Guo Ran. Birds to fall out of the sky and rivers to flow backward? Can beauty do that? Said Long Chen contemptuously. Cough. My meaning is just that her beauty is indescribable. Don't be so picky. You know I'm not very learned, said Guo Ran awkwardly. If she's just as famous as Zhu Yu, she should also be an expert on that level. Long Chen frowned. Just Zhu Yu was terrifying enough. Now a Len Yuian had appeared. That made him feel like the pressure on him had increased once again. Moreover, the corrupt path was his mortal enemy. The two of them were traveling as they talked. They eventually arrived at a dried up river. The ground was covered in cracks. A ghastly sight. The river continued endlessly. Long Chen finally realized why this place was called Insect Island. Before the immemorial path had crumbled, there must have been a lake here. There are people up ahead, said Guo Ran suddenly. Long Chen looked to see quite a few people rushing forward like them. They were actually also moving toward Insect Island. From their robes, there were both righteous and corrupt disciples. There were also some disciples from ancient families. They were independent existences of their own. It was just that they were incomparably arrogant and rarely interacted with the rest of the world. Boss, we should hurry up. Otherwise, the treasure will be taken by others, said Guo Ran worriedly. Grow a brain. Insect Island is a trial region. Although I don't know the exact details, you definitely have to pass the trial to get the reward. It's not a matter of who gets there first. Furthermore, the fact that they're scouting ahead for us is a good thing. They can test the waters while we watch. Long Chen slowed down with Guo Ran. But Long Chen was a bit surprised to see more and more people as they went deeper in. He hastily took out the map he had obtained from the corrupt disciples. He immediately found why there were so many people here. This place had long since been marked by everyone. He had forgotten to check this map with the map the Shao tribe had given him. If he had known this many people were coming, he would have chosen a different spot. With this many people, he wouldn't just have to worry about passing the trial, but also about being attacked by others. It was a waste of time and effort. But since he was already here, he decided to continue. The other reason he had chosen Insect Island was because the Shao tribe's leader had specifically told him that it was very strange. Their people were only able to observe it from the outside. They didn't dare to enter, because it was a trial that cursed them heavily. Eventually, a mountain appeared. That should be the so-called Insect Island. But the lake had disappeared. So the island had become a mountain. Long Chen hadn't expected it to be so large. From the outside, it looked to be several thousand miles wide. But it was completely desolate, and there wasn't a single blade of grass growing on it. Looking at that desolate island, for some unknown reason, Long Chen felt a bit uneasy. He kept feeling like this island was strange. But since he had already come here, he had to go in and at least take a look. When Long Chen and Guo Ran stepped onto the island, they saw several corpses. They looked like the corpses of corrupt experts. Their weapons and spatial rings were gone. After traveling some more, they found more corpses. This time, their robes were from the righteous path. As before, their weapons and spatial rings were gone. After passing a ridge, they saw two more people, but they were alive and healthy. They raised their weapons icily at Long Chen and Guo Ran. This area is ours. If you're smart, you'll immediately scram. Chapter 805 Killing Full Moon Disciples Translator Born to be these two people had a short horn on their heads. Long Chen recognized them as the members of the Full Moon Race. The Full Moon Race was an ancient race with immense power. Their skin was like bronze, making them much more powerful than average cultivators. Before entering the immemorial path, Long Chen had seen them, but he found them to be exceedingly arrogant. They actually looked down on the human race. 
In fact, they practically didn't even look at them. These two were clearly intending on stopping them from entering deeper. They were securing this area for the full moon race. The entire immemorial path is my area. You two should scram, said Long Chen. Just looking at these arrogant fellows infuriated him. Previously, these people had been incredibly irritating, but Long Chen hadn't had any conflict with them, so they hadn't fought. But now that they were pointing their weapons at him, being tolerant didn't have any meaning. Courting death, the two of them were enraged. They were people from an ancient race. Thus, they inherently looked down on regular disciples like him. Both of their spears struck like poisonous vipers. Although they were just rank 1 celestials, their power was comparable to rank 2 celestials. Two golden hands caught their spears. It was Guo Ran. In his opinion, such minor figures weren't worth his boss personally taking action. Just as Guo Ran was about to send them flying, Long Chen directly pointed his finger. Two lightning arrows pierced their heads directly killing them in body and soul. They fell to the ground, their eyes still full of shock. Boss, you, even Guo Ran was stunned. They were experts from an ancient race. Now it was troublesome. Remember, no matter who it is, as long as they want your life, you have a reason to kill them, no matter their status, said Long Chen lightly. But they, there's no bots. If you don't dare to attack them just because of their background, if you're afraid of the consequences, your enemies won't think that you're magnanimous. Instead, they'll think you're weak and easy to bully. That will bring you even more trouble. To such people, you have to be even more tyrannical. Kill each one that comes. Kill until they're afraid. Kill until they don't dare to become enemies with you. Don't you still remember Huo Wufang? Instead of restraining myself, if I had killed him the first time I encountered him, would Ye Hikyu and Lu Fang or have died? Said Long Chen coldly. Guo Ran's heart turned icy. Thinking back of that miserable battle at the end of the Jiuli secret realm, it was like he could see Lu Fanger and Ye's Hikyu dying in front of him. So remember, enemies are enemies. Don't vainly think that being nice will make them allies. That will just push you further into despair. You have to be stronger than experts, more vicious than vicious people. Don't vainly think about talking reason. That's just the display of the weak. You need to learn how to make it so others want to talk reason with you, said Long Chen, as he spoke. Over ten full moon experts appeared. Obviously, the disturbance here had drawn them over. When they saw those two corpses, they roared furiously and charged at them. Killed them all. Long Chen waved his hand. Guo Ran felt his scalp turn numb. This boss of his was too vicious. They were part of an ancient race. But he could only listen to his boss's orders. He summoned his golden armor and slashed down with his saber. Those full moon experts were horrified to find that this golden monster completely suppressed them in terms of power. With a single saber, they were all sent flying. While they were flying through the air, black needles struck them as quick as lightning. Bloody mist filled the air as they were almost all killed. The only one to survive was a rank 2 celestial. Relying on his powerful body, despite being pierced into a sieve, he remained alive. He was just about to flee when Guo Ran's saber mercilessly fell on him. He was directly cut in two. That rank 2 celestial died just like that. After killing them, Guo Ran didn't feel the slightest happiness. Instead, he was incredibly worried. Boss, won't this bring more trouble? What trouble? At most, the full moon race will learn about this and hunt us down. What else could happen? If we retreated this time, then we would have to retreat the next time and so on for all eternity. The good resources will be taken by others, and we'll lose any chance of getting stronger. At that time, we won't even die to the full moon race before we die to weaker enemies. Those who block us are essentially killing us, so there's no need to be merciful. As for trouble, he, do we care about more trouble? When do we not have to deal with trouble? Relax, even if you provoke gargantuan trouble, I'll be there, and if I can't handle it, the worst case is that all of us brothers die together. Eighteen years later, we'll rise once more, we can die, but we can't lose our undefeatable will. Since we've chosen this place, we absolutely can't retreat. Once we retreat, There'll be no more hope for us. In the future, our entire Dragon Blood Legion will walk the undefeatable path. We can die, but we can't admit defaturing each one of the Dragon Blood Warriors as my brother or sister. If one person causes a disaster, we'll handle it together. So you don't need to be afraid. Anyone who dares to provoke you can be directly killed. Our Dragon Blood Legion might not provoke trouble, but we aren't afraid of trouble. No matter who it is, even if their daddy is a god. We'll still kill them if they provoke us, said Long Chen solemnly. I understand, boss, Guo Ran nodded. Today, 
He finally truly understood Long Chen's thinking. He admired and worshipped him even more. Ever since he had encountered Long Chen, Long Chen had risen like a shooting star. But no matter how strong he became, he still maintained his core heart. Guo Ran was Long Chen's earliest follower. Now, his cultivation base had reached the late Xianchen realm and he had become a rank 2 celestial. He had gained immense strength and the world had opened up to him. His heart had unconsciously changed. He had begun to care more and more about what he had. He wanted to enjoy his current accomplishments. As a result, he had begun to fear losing what he had. Now he had to remember his original heart. Long Chen nodded. Guo Ran was also smart. Although he was too ostentatious, his comprehension skill was still quite great. He patted Guo Ran's shoulder. Since he understood, then there was no need to say anything more. They continued forward and quickly found a hole in the ground. It seemed to have only just been dug. They were digging a well, wondered Guo Ran. What well? They should be digging for treasures. Long Chen rolled his eyes Novaloon.com digging for treasures. Guo Ran didn't really understand. From the Xiao tribe, I learned that Insect Island is a huge trial region. It is split into hundreds of levels, and there are force fields protecting them. But the Xiao tribe could only watch from a distance. There are powerful formations that prevent them from entering. But according to them, this insect island was once a verdant forest. Now, there's not even a single blade of grass. Isn't that curious? Apparently, each trial on insect island has a bonathorn blood moth protecting it. If you want to obtain the treasure, you must defeat Chiringit. But now the island is completely desolate, and there are no signs of the bonathorn blood moths. Their guess is that because there were no guards, the Bonathorn Bloodmuffs consumed all the resources on the island, completely destroying this place, and most likely they went to other places to reproduce. Looking at this desolate island, Long Chen paused before continuing, but I still feel like there's something off here, I just can't tell what. Then what are we supposed to do now? Asked Guo Ran. Wait a moment, I'll investigate with my divine sense. Long Chen sent his divine sense underground. He followed the hole the full moon experts had dug. Once he reached 300 meters, Long Chen's heart shivered. Underground, it was like there was some chaotic honeycomb. Some unknown energy had pierced countless crisscrossing and intertwining tunnels. Furthermore, he also saw broken caves and formations. Oh, there's something. Long Chen suddenly saw a jade case 3,000 meters deep. Despite being buried in mud, he still sensed it. These fellows must have some kind of method to sense underground treasures. This hole is right over the treasure. There's actually such a method to hunt for treasures? Then let me check their spatial rings. Guo Ran was delighted, and he hastily began rifling through the spatial rings from the corpses of the full moon experts. There's no need. My divine sense can cover several miles, which is greater than any item they could have. First of all, let's start excavating and see what's inside. Long Chen was just about to take action. There's no need for you to do anything. Boss, let me. Guo Ran took out a drill. The drill was three meters long and gave off a cold light. Guo Ran sinisterly laughed. Ever since that time I bitterly dug in the first monastery, I just knew we'd run into this kind of situation again. So I developed this supreme drill. The drill's runes lit up. It began to quickly whirl, bringing with it an ear-piercing sound. It began to pierce through the ground like it was made of paper. In front of Long Chen's stunned gaze, in just two breaths, the drill reached the jade case Long Chen had indicated. He's just saying that the worst case is they all die and that they'll reincarnate, becoming adults in 18 years, and once more being who they were. But to be clear, this is kind of an expression, and readers should not take this to mean that cultivators can reincarnate with their memories. Chapter 806 Dying with Eyes Open Translator Born to be opening the jade case, a disgusting scent erupted. Long Chen and Guo Ran both jumped in fright, thinking that it was poison. They hastily shot their pores and shot back. Only then did they get a good look at what was inside. It was a fist-sized egg, but there were countless speckles on it, and the disgusting scent was coming from them. Is this a housepit's egg? Guessed Guo Ran. Most likely. It's just that it's been too long. Long Chen was speechless. That was unlucky. Throw this egg away. But the case should be a treasure. All right. Guo Ran really didn't want to touch this thing. But since Long Chen said so, he went over and threw out the egg. Fuck. You pig. Long Chen suddenly fled upon seeing Guo Ran toss the egg beneath his feet. The egg immediately grew in size upon leaving the case. It grew to several meters long, and it exploded upon striking the ground. A fecal green liquid erupted like a bomb. Guo Ran was immediately splashed by it. A nauseating scent crashed over him. Despite sealing his pores, 
he still felt like he was about to vomit. This egg had existed for no one knew how long. That kind of scent wasn't something just anyone could handle. It was fortunate that Long Chen had fled fast enough, or he would also have been splashed. Seeing Guo Ran just foolishly standing there, he cursed. Hurry up and start washing yourself. Only then did Guo Ran react. He took out a bucket of water and began to crazily scrub. Even once he was clean, that disgusting stench didn't let up. Boss, you couldn't warn me. Guo Ran switched his robes, but that stench was still present. Are you a pig? Would a house pet's egg be just the size of a chicken egg? That case has huge runes on it. Are you blind? Even if you are, can't you sense the spatial fluctuations? TCH. I almost got pulled in because of you, and you still want to grumble at me, said Long Chen without the slightest mercy. Without several days, there was no way that scent would disappear. Now even Long Chen was affected Novaloon.com traveling in the world while closing all the pores and sense of smell was essentially cutting one's spiritual perception in half. Doing it for a while might be acceptable, but doing it for too long was just courting death. Heavens, it really is a treasure. I have a huge use for these runes. Guo Ran suddenly saw the runes on the case, and his eyes lit up. He had definitely thought of another forging mechanism. TCH, put it away. Let's go. Long Chen brought Guo Ran away. Long Chen found quite a few deep holes in this area, but those holes were from a long time ago. It seemed quite a few experts had searched this island before, which disappointed him. Perhaps there weren't many chances of obtaining any treasures here. There's a jade case here. Long Chen paused, sensing a jade case. Without wasting a moment, Guo Ran began digging. As Guo Ran dug, Long Chen looked around and couldn't help but grumble. According to reason, since this place was a trial region, it should have been like a cage that trapped the insects inside. The insects should have been like the hidden ground gold spider, unable to escape. But now, not only were there no Bonathorn bloodmuffs, but the entire island was wrecked. The trial caves had been excavated, and all people could do was dig for treasure here. Had that battle back then destroyed the formations of this island? But Long Chen still kept feeling like something was a bit off. He, boss, here you go. Guo Ran smiled mischievously and handed the jade case to Long Chen. TCH, do you think we'd be so unlucky as to obtain another stinky egg? Long Chen rolled his eyes, but although his tone was disdainful, he kept the case far away and used his spiritual strength to open it. When the case was opened, there wasn't the slightest disgusting stench. Instead, it was the scent of a perfume permeating the atmosphere. There was a pearl inside. The pearl was the size of a baby's fist. Its entire body was like jade. Spiritual key revolved around it as it shone beautifully. A dense scent of perfume came out of it, one that was extremely relaxing to smell. Boss, give it to me. I can use it to mask some of the scent coming from me. Guo Ran was delighted. This was just what he needed. You can't. This is a 7th rank 9 color Elks Neden. It's incredibly precious to female cultivators. The essence inside it can allow a person to maintain a youthful appearance forever. If you were to waste such a natural treasure, then Tang Wanner would definitely cut you into pieces if she learned of it. Furthermore, I'd also be implicated by you, laughed Long Chen. Really, this thing is so amazing? It has the same effect as the legendary everlasting appearance fruit, asked Guo Ran. When it comes to effect, it definitely can't compare. That everlasting appearance fruit can be directly consumed. But I'll have to first extract the essence within this needon and make it into a pill. You know how much women like their beauty. So many of them are willing to even sacrifice their longevity and even their cultivation base. My guess is that if the sect master didn't care about her looks, she might have already long since stepped into the king realm, said Long Chen. Then why don't you refine a few everlasting face pills and give me some? He, you know, I, he. You understand, said Guo Ran. With that wretched expression on his face, it seemed there really would be no one who wouldn't understand what he intended. Don't worry, the essence within this needon is enough for me to refine several furnaces of pills. I'll only need one furnace of pills for my beauties. If you have the ability, you can take all the rest. I want to see just how many beautiful girls you can seduce, laughed Long Chen. He, I won't use those everlasting appearance pills to seduce them. Seducing women must be done through charisma and strength. I'm just preparing for the future. If there comes a beautiful woman who admires me, and we're just lacking a little bit of fire between us, who could resist once I send her an everlasting appearance pill? Laughed Guo Ran mischievously. Guo Ran, have you ever thought of what kind of woman you want? Asked Long Chen suddenly. How should I put it? My requirements aren't high, 
As long as they don't loathe me, it's fine, said Guo Ran. Ah, this requirement of yours is actually quite high, said Long Chen. Fuck, boss, you're evil. Why must you always mock me like this? It's unenderable. Guo Ran had an urge to cry, but no tears came out. He, don't be like this. Your brother is just joking with you. Furthermore, aren't you also quite handsome? Why must you set your requirements so low? Comforted Long Chen. The main thing is that my eyes are too small. Women don't like men with small eyes. Guo Ran hung his head dejectedly. Who said that? Small eyes have their own benefits, said Long Chen supportively. Really? What benefits? People with small eyes, no matter how they die, won't die with their eyes open. All right, let's stop talking and just keep moving. In truth, Long Chen was also very excited to obtain the nine color elks needon. He always felt like he greatly owed his beauties. Now he finally had a chance to send each of them a gift. They would definitely be incredibly delighted to gain the ability to retain their youth forever. Continuing forward, Long Chen kept his spiritual strength spread out while Guo Ran was in charge of digging. They quickly found seven more cases. Three of them contained weapons that had reached the middle grade enchanted level, but they were made through exquisite craftsmanship which made them much stronger than average weapons at that level. They also obtained a secret tome that contained a water element magical art. It was directly stored in a spatial ring since it was essentially useless to them. They also dug up another stinky egg, but with their experience last time, they handled it much better than before. There were also two pills that were even more trash. Although medicinal pills were precious, after all this time, those pills had lost their medicinal energy and were no more than shriveled lumps of garbage. As they got deeper, Long Chen saw many powerful people. Some were from the righteous path, some from the corrupt path, and there were also many experts from the ancient races. They were in groups, sometimes with more than 10 people. They held strange tools as they searched for something. Long Chen saw that those had to be tools to find treasure, which was why the previous people they had killed had been digging right over a jade case. After all, there weren't many people who had spiritual strength as powerful as Long Chen and could explore hundreds of meters underground. And even if someone could, they would only be able to last for a few breaths before running out of spiritual strength. Long Chen saw that these people came from every direction of the island, and they were all powerful figures. They were all in groups. Long Chen's group of two was actually the weakest. Those groups were all carefully searching while on guard against enemy attacks. The groups maintained a certain distance from each other, but Long Chen saw that quite a few people had begun to place their sights on him and Guo Ran. Some of the ancient race groups had several rank 2 celestials amongst them. It had to be known that the ancient races possessed bloodlines that made them unrevealed in the same realm. Long Chen ignored them for now as he continued searching with his divine sense. He quickly found another two cases. Just as Long Chen and Guo Ran pulled up the second one, a group of people surrounded them. Hand over all the treasures you've obtained and we'll spare your lives. Chapter 807 Magical Art Raging Flame Prison Translator Born to be boss, how could it just be a pile of ashes? Guo Ran was speechless as he looked inside the case. It should be some medicinal ingredient that rotted after all this time. It's impossible to even tell what the original medicinal ingredient was. Sighed Long Chen. How depressing. Guo Ran put away the case. At least the case was a treasure. Bastards. I'm talking to you. Hand over your treasures. And we won't kill you. Long Chen and Guo Ran were completely ignoring them. Causing this group to be infuriated. The two of them looked over this group. They looked the same as humans. But their hands were like eagle claws with sharp hooks at the end of their fingertips. They actually only had four fingers. That strange appearance was a sign of an ancient race. There were 13 people, and three of them were ranked 2 Celestials. Their auras were extremely powerful. Hand over your treasures, and we'll spare your lives, said Long Chen indifferently. What? Those Eagle Claw ancient race experts were even more enraged now. Die. One of the ranked 2 Celestials directly sent his claws at them, manifesting runes which caused a harsh whistling. Guo Ran slashed with his golden saber. What startled him was that sparks flew, and he was actually knocked back a step. Idiot. Now do you understand just how strong we are now? We can tear apart enchanted items with our bare hands. It's too late for regret now, sneered the clawed expert as he pressed his attack. Guo Ran was truly startled. As expected, each ancient race possessed its own powerful inheritance. These claws were this ancient race's greatest weapon. Suddenly, a thunder force covered hand caught the ancient race expert's domineering claw. The sound of bones breaking rang out along with his mournful cry. Tear apart enchanted items? 
just with your flimsy chicken claws. Long Chen shook his head. Seeing how powerful those claws were, Long Chen had wanted to test whether they really were as strong as they said they were, and the result of his test was that these claws were just for bragging. Yes, they were comparable to enchanted items, but they still weren't true enchanted items. They relied entirely on runes to increase their power to receive Guo Ran's saber, but under the suppression of Long Chen's lightning rushing hand, they were really no different from chicken claws. Attack together, seeing one of their rank 2 celestials be injured. The rest of them realized that they had kicked an iron plate today, but due to their long-standing pride, they wouldn't allow themselves to lose out. Almost instinctively, they charged. Guo Ran was just about to summon his complete armor when Long Chen waved his hand. Space twisted as endless runes condensed in the air. Waves of heat surged into the sky. Raging flame prison. Long Chen's spiritual yuan erupted. Those runes formed a prison that caught all the eagle claw enemies. The earth flame's energy poured forth as berserk flame energy ignited them. The 300-meter flame prison tightly bound them. Countless runes danced within the prison, and whatever those runes touched instantly ignited. In just a moment, all of them were set afire, trying to escape with their lives on the line. But when they touched the edge of the prison, it was like the flames on their bodies ignited again. The flames on them roared to a new level. Noticing members of an ancient race target Long Chen's group of two. Quite a few people had looked over. Now they were all appalled. This flame prison was actually so terrifying. Even Long Chen was startled by its power. This magical art he had obtained from the Shao tribe was actually so powerful. Magical arts were different from battle skills. Battle skills relied on circulating the energy within the user, condensing it together to release the greatest power. The principle of a battle skill was like stopping a river and storing up water before suddenly releasing it all but magical arts relied on activating the energy within heaven and earth. A person's energy was just to connect to it. It was like a detonator activating explosives. However, after activating heaven and earth's energy, that vast energy had to be properly controlled by spiritual yuan. Normally, only sea expansion experts could use magical arts, because Xi'anchen experts didn't have the spiritual yuan to control it. Using one would just cause their bodies to explode. As an alchemist, Long Chen's comprehension and control of flame energy were extremely high. He quickly learned to control this move, but he still hadn't tried it before. So now that he did, he was shocked by how powerful it was. Novaloon.com activating the raging flame prison required condensing a special rune within the body. When the rune was fully formed, hand seals activated it, and spiritual strength released it into the world. When the prison first formed, it would instantly draw over all the flame energy around it and condense it into its runes. Then the next step was to use the energy of a personal core flame to truly complete it. Once the raging flame prison was complete, the inside would be filled with countless tiny runes that could be likened to a fine drizzle. But that drizzle was endless and came from every angle. Anyone who was inside would be ignited. Those minute runes would ignite anything they touched. The flame energy within them wasn't something their spiritual yuan had been able to resist. They had only been able to rely on their heavenly Dao runes to block it. But they had quickly found that blocking the flames exhausted their Korunic energy at an alarming rate. If this continued, then it would just be a few more breaths before they were burned to ash. They crazily attacked the prison, trying to escape, but the prison didn't even budge. It was like they were dragonflies trying to shake a pillar. The most terrifying thing was that as they attacked the prison, strange energy was transmitted into their bodies. The flame runes adhering to their bodies were like ignited gunpowder. One of the weaker ones directly exploded, not even leaving behind a corpse. No, the Eagle Claw experts were filled with despair. If they attacked the prison, they would explode. If they didn't attack it, they would slowly be incinerated. There was no third option. Hurry and release us. Otherwise, the Great Eagle Race will hunt you down and exterminate your entire sect and family roared one of the Rank 2 Celestials. Long Chen stood with his arms clasped behind his back, calmly watching the changes in the prison. He completely ignored what that person had said. He was still shocked at how powerful the raging flame prison was. He hadn't used his full power with it since he was just testing it. His guess was that its current power was just a third of its peak. He also didn't want to expose its true power so early. So he had intentionally weakened it. But he didn't expect its effect to still be so shocking. Ah, it must be because of the earth flame. Long Chen suddenly thought of the crux of the problem. As a flame magical art. The Raging Flame Prison's power had very likely increased due to the Earth Flame, which was why it was so shocking. While Long Chen was lost in thought, 
the final two ranked two celestials couldn't hold any longer and self-destructed. After the self-destruction, even their souls didn't have a chance to flee. They were instantly incinerated. The flames disappeared. Heaven and Earth returned to normal. But 13 ancient race experts had completely disappeared without leaving a trace. The ground was untouched, without the slightest shared portion. After using this move, his experience with magical arts had risen a great deal. The reason magical arts were so powerful was because they drew off the world's elemental energy. That was naturally extremely powerful. But using one exhausted both spiritual yuan and spiritual strength. That exhaustion was extremely great. Although the power was worth it, Long Chen also sensed some danger. In truth, magical arts were a double-sided blade. At the same time as they could be used to kill enemies, they posed a great risk. There were two factors. One was that if your own power wasn't high enough, you wouldn't be able to control the world's energy, and that would cause the magical art to erupt out of your control. The other danger was if your opponent had a way to restrain your magical art. For example, they might break the equilibrium of your magical art, then your control over the natural energy would also break, and you would suffer a backlash. It was no wonder why even those old sea expansion monsters wouldn't easily use magical arts unless they were forced to. Controlling them was too difficult and too dangerous. Boss, what battle skill was that? It's so powerful. Guo Ran was shocked. Over 10 ancient race experts were incinerated by it without the slightest ability to resist. Don't ask. No matter how strong a battle skill is, you wouldn't be able to use it. Your Dao is already completely different from other people's. Properly walk your own path. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to explain to him the difference between battle skills and magical arts. Other than satisfying his curiosity, it didn't have any use to him. The Raging Flame Prison had shocked everyone here. Those people who had been planning on doing something to Long Chen secretly wiped away some cold sweat. There were also quite a few people delighting in his misfortune. Now that Long Chen had killed experts from the Great Eagle Race, and this many, the Great Eagle Race would definitely not leave things as they were. The distant corrupt experts' expressions changed and they immediately fled. But seeing that Long Chen was ignoring them and focused on continuing to search for treasures, they relaxed a bit. However, they still chose to distance themselves more. As Long Chen and Guo Ran advanced, the path was suddenly blocked by huge boulders. There was no choice but to go around to reach the core region of the island. From a small pass, they entered the core region. Just a few dozen miles in, Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. Chapter 808 Caught in a Crisis Translator Born to be a mountain appeared in front of them. It was just a hundred meters high, and its circumference was only a thousand meters. But everyone's expressions changed. That was because this mountain was made of skeletons. They were piled tightly together along with countless weapons and spatial rings. The majority of the people felt their hair stand on end upon seeing it. Even those weapons and spatial rings weren't able to entice them. This is a trap. Guo Ran was appalled. Their journey here had been so calm and easy. But as soon as they arrived here, they saw this huge pile of bones. Furthermore, these skeletons' clothes hadn't completely degraded yet. They definitely had died no more than a few decades ago. There were also some skeletons that had decayed. It had to be known that those who could come here were all top geniuses in the outside world. Their skeletons wouldn't decay like that even if given several centuries. In other words, the skeletons here had been piled up from dead experts from different periods. I should run now, whispered Guo Ran. It's too late. Long Chen shook his head. He had long since spread his divine sense. That was why his expression had completely changed. Long Chen was currently looking around. He suddenly noticed a huge altar behind the mountain of skeletons. Countless runes were revolving around it, and the aura of primal chaos circulated within it. At the center of the altar was an ancient lamp. It was nine inches tall, with a lotus flower at both the top and the bottom. Six small pillars connected the two ends. At the center was the lamp wick. Long Chen was surprised to see that the wick was lit. Long Chen sensed an extremely terrifying pressure coming from the ancient lantern. He realized that Insect Island hadn't been completely abandoned. In truth, it was still functional. It was just the trial caves that had been damaged. Heavens, what is going on? Just as everyone was stunned by this scene and hesitating on whether or not they should fight for the weapons and spatial rings of the corpses, a startled cry rang out. Everyone looked over and jumped. At some unknown time, they had been surrounded by some kind of bizarre insects. The insects were two feet long. They looked similar to locusts. Their back was like a blade, and there was a long horn on their heads. There was a sharp point on their backs that was like a javelin. An appalling aura came from them. 
They were completely black, and under the sunlight, they gave off a metallic sheen. Their antennas were waving toward them, causing them to feel like buckets of ice water had been thrown on them, were definitely dead. There are actually so many sixth rank magical beasts here, seeing this many insects, one person immediately despaired, just with a glance, it was obvious these sinister looking magical beasts were not kind hearted, with tens of thousands of sixth rank magical beasts staring at them, they really were dead, in a one on one, insect magical beasts were actually stronger than other magical beasts, their armor was difficult to break, and such armored magical beasts normally had boundless energy. Once this many of them attacked, then perhaps only rank 2 celestials would have any chance of getting out alive. Rank 1 celestials would definitely die. As for asking rank 2 celestials to protect them, just protecting themselves would be difficult enough. So they naturally couldn't protect others. Now, everyone realized that they had fallen for a trap, and a huge one. That mountain of skeletons showed just how many people had died to this trap. Thinking of that, they were filled with terror. Just who had set up this kind of trap here? These are Bonathorn Bloodmuths. Guo Ran, summon your armor so you don't get instantly killed, said Long Chen. Long Chen had learned quite a bit about these kinds of ancient beasts from Men Qi while studying soul arts, so he recognized them, but all knew about them was that they were supposedly extremely terrifying. Seeing how solemn Long Chen was, Guo Ran didn't dare to be careless. He summoned his armor. That way, he wouldn't need to be afraid of their attacks. What should we do? Guo Ran didn't dare to move while surrounded by this many Bonathorn Bloodmuths. Ignore them. You go gather those weapons and spatial rings. In any case, your skin is thick enough. They're unable to break your defense. So this is a rare opportunity, said Long Chen quietly. Guo Ran shot off toward the mountain of skeletons. He was incredibly fast, crazily absorbing the spoils. Although this kind of thing was a bit taboo. It was obvious that there had to be many treasures hidden inside those spatial rings. Guo Ran's actions drew everyone's attention. Just what time was it? He actually still cared about treasures? But when they saw his seamless armor, they were filled with envy and fury. Courting death. Just as Guo Ran began to gather those weapons and spatial rings, these experts, who had been on the verge of going crazy from the threat of death, erupted. They definitely refused to allow Guo Ran to gather all the treasures and just swagger off. They all took out their weapons and attacked him, but they had only just released their auras when it ignited something else. The insects immediately shot forward. Space trembled as the Bonathorn Bloodmuffs shot over. They covered the sky, turning the land dark. What startled everyone was that the tens of thousands of Bonathorn Bloodmuffs they had previously seen were nothing more than the tip of the iceberg. They now saw that there were millions of them. The heaven-shrouding Bonathorn Bloodmuffs covered the entire sky. The sound of their wings filled their ears and everyone was horrified. Suddenly, a rank 2 celestial's weapon shook, and a ray of light shot towards them. Continuous explosions rang out. Hundreds of Bonathorn Bloodmuffs were sent flying by the powerful force. A slight opening appeared in the sky. Everyone was delighted. These Bonathorn Bloodmuffs might have a strong defense, but up in the air, they were easily knocked away. They were relieved. There were hundreds of celestials here, over 30 of which were rank 2 celestials. If everyone worked together, it seemed it wouldn't be a problem to charge their way out of the blockade. First, kill the golden armored person, then kill his companion. We definitely can't let them take everything. One of the corrupt path's experts shouted, wanting to incite enmity between everyone and Long Chen. There were quite a few people that came from the Eastern Wasteland's ancient races. There were also some righteous experts, but most of the righteous experts had come from the other opening. So although they had heard Long Chen's name, they didn't really place him in their eyes. But Long Chen's raging flame prison had definitely intimidated them. They were all experts, and they could all see that his technique had been an extremely powerful magical art. Long Chen had immediately become the person that everyone had the most misjivings toward. Now, they all had to work together to get out of here alive. They definitely couldn't allow Guo Ran to leave with all the profit. You really are a bunch of idiots. Even at this time, you want to scheme. There's no saving you snorted Long Chen. He shot toward the altar behind the mountain of skeletons. Ah, suddenly, miserable screams rang out, along with the sound of bodies being torn apart. Everyone hastily looked back in shock. Countless sharp bones were flying over at them, and they were incredibly quick. It was practically a rain of bones. The defensive runes everyone had summoned were essentially useless. These bone thorns directly pierced through their bodies. But luckily, these people were all celestials and could heal. 
But this rain of bone thorns was still unblockable. Despite doing their best, quite a few of them pierced through their bodies. We can't continue like this. We'll be exhausted to death. Concentrate on breaking out, roared one of the ancient race experts. He directly charged forward with his group, but their actions drew a dire consequence. Only a small portion of the Bonathorn blood muffs had actually attacked just now, and this group's movements drew the attacks of the rest of them. A torrent of bone thorns shot toward them Novaloon.com There were simply too many of them. In front of everyone's horrified gazes, that group of experts was submerged by the countless bone thorns, and then their bodies disappeared forever. The bone thorns were these insects' strongest weapons. They actually grew back extremely quickly as well. After shooting one out, a second one would quickly grow. In truth, each Bonathorn Bloodmuth was only able to use this attack three times. However, their piercing power was incredibly great. Due to how many of them there were, their attack's killing power was even comparable to an enchanted weapon. Their bone thorns could easily pierce a celestial's body. Even shields only lasted for a moment before being blown apart. There were just too many bone thorns. In just that one exchange, almost a hundred people died. Long Chen rushed over to the altar. He was startled to find that the blood key of the fallen celestials was being rapidly pulled in by the altar. More precisely, the blood key was surging toward the ancient lamp. He was startled to see that this blood key actually weakened the burning lamp wick. It seemed its light had weakened a bit. Could it be that this huge trap is all to extinguish this ancient lamp? Long Chen carefully touched the lamp. He found he was unable to move it. It was like it was a part of the altar. Long Chen also didn't dare to use too much force since he was afraid of destroying it. But as more and more experts fell, the lamp wick's energy weakened, and it began to shudder. A few glowing runes appeared under the lamp. Those runes then began to rapidly dim, and the lamp started to shake. Long Chen was delighted to see that. This should be the optimal time to attempt to take the lamp. Long Chen's hand had just touched it again when he felt a burst of pain on his back. A sharp sword pierced through his back and out his chest. Blood spraying wildly. Chapter 809 Peerless Assassin Wang Junmo Translator Born to be the attack had come without the slightest warning. By the time Long Chen had reacted, a thin sword only the width of a thumb pierced his body. In that instant, the image of a masked figure appeared in his mind. That mask was covered in many lines. Wang Junmo, Long Chen's heart shook. He suddenly felt an explosive energy coming through the sword. An immense power was about to erupt, and if he allowed it to erupt in his body, he wouldn't even have a corpse left. He didn't defend against it, nor did he try fleeing. He suppressed that instinctive desire and instead gathered all his energy into his saber, stabbing it behind him. Having condensed all his energy within the saber, as long as it touched his opponent's body, it would definitely release an earth-shattering power. The first thing Long Chen did was to unleash an attack to bring down his opponent with him. The sword was quickly extracted from his back. Blood flew through the air, flowing easily. That sword seemed to possess some special energy that could make a person bleed faster. Long Chen hastily circulated the primal chaos space. Life energy instantly healed his injuries. His saber continued forward. Previously, this suicidal move had seemed reckless. But in truth, it was the only way he could have escaped his death. After escaping the threat of the sword's energy erupting within him, Long Chen still didn't retreat but instead launched a fierce attack. Wang Junmo was truly too terrifying. In all this time, this was the first time the nine-star hegemon body art had failed to sense the danger of a sneak attack. Wang Junmo must have some exceedingly strange secret art to completely conceal his killing intent. Long Chen's sword stabbed behind him, but where he thought there would be someone, there was no one. Boom. A powerful force sent Long Chen staggering forward a few steps. Looking back. He saw a masked man holding the ancient lamp. It was Wang Junmo. He held a thin transparent sword. Without looking carefully, it was very difficult to see it. Most importantly, there were no fluctuations coming from it. It was like it wasn't a weapon, but just a refined piece of craftsmanship. Truly worthy of being Long Chen. This is the first time this move of mine has failed, said Wang Junmo indifferently. This move of yours really is very powerful. It's my first time having someone stealthily stab me said Long Chen. He was furious. One reason was because of this assassination attempt, while the other reason was that the mysterious ancient lamp had ended up in Wang Junmo's hands. Haha, <laughs> interesting. However, this ancient lamp is something I noticed first. I also had long since seen through this trap laid by the Bonathorn Bloodmuffs. They are using the fresh blood of experts to extinguish the lamp wick. Then, the final formations of the island will be completely broken. 
and they'll be completely free. So I was waiting here for a long time for people to come, but I didn't expect that a big fish like you would come swimming into my trap. Wang Junmo smiled and put away the ancient lamp. Long Chen was startled. So Wang Junmo had seen through some clues as soon as he had arrived here and simply been lying in wait for others to step into the trap. At this time, the other experts were still fiercely fighting the Bonathorn blood myths. As for over here, although the sky was also covered in them, as long as Long Chen didn't take the initiative to attack them, they also didn't attack him. As an assassin, do you really think you can flee once you're exposed right in front of me? Asked Long Chen, his aura slowly rising. Flee? No. Although one principle of assassins is to flee if we fail to kill someone in one attack, there's no need for me to follow it. Those who follow the rules normally don't have any ability. Although I am proficient in the assassin Dao, that doesn't represent that I'm the same as other assassins and can't face people head on. Sometimes, relying on just assassination isn't very fun. Seeing so much of my prey die without even having a chance to struggle is too boring. If it weren't for the assassin's creed, I wouldn't have bothered with this sneak attack just now. Luckily, you didn't die so easily, or this game would be over already. In truth. I like to see experts die in front of me while being filled with despair, said Wang Junmo, acting as if Long Chen was just prey in his eyes. I don't think so. That attack just now was your only chance to kill me, but you missed it. Boom. Long Chen's divine ring appeared behind him, and four stars revolved in his eyes. A terrifying pressure descended upon the world, and a constant rumbling filled the air just due to Long Chen's existence. An immense saber image soared into the sky. Slaughtering any Bonathorn blood muffs it came into contact with. Others might not be able to kill them, but they were too weak to endure a single attack from Long Chen. Wang Junmo's pupils shrank. His aura also erupted and three colored runes appeared behind him. He also entered his strongest state by summoning his cry of the heavenly Deos. The sword in his hand slashed forward to meet Long Chen's saber. A powerful explosion shook the land. Blinding waves of light erupted. Those waves of light spread in every direction and the altar beside them instantly collapsed. The mountain of skeletons was also blown to bits. Guo Ran had still been in the midst of gathering treasures, and as a result, he was sent flying. Wherever these waves of light went, those Bonathorn blood muffs were directly torn apart. The sky immediately brightened. The heaven-shrouding Bonathorn blood muffs had been greatly reduced by this attack. Quick, run. Everyone immediately began to flee, but they had only just shot out when their expressions completely changed. Because at this moment, the ground of Insect Island was all covered in Bonathorn blood myths. It was like they had been waiting for this moment, and the people fleeing were met with a torrent of bone thorns. A-H-H. Miserable screams rang out. Those who were at the front were directly killed, while those further back had a chance to fall back. As for Long Chen and Wang Junmo, their fight immediately provoked the huge army of Bonathorn blood myths. They surged over at them. That was a true endless sea of insects. Everyone felt despair. This was a fatal trap, and there was no chance for them to flee. Thinking of the mountain of skeletons, they were filled with terror. Long Chen ignored the chaos. He also ignored the sea of insects. This kind of magical beast posed no threat to him. After exchanging a single blow with Wang Junmo, Long Chen understood a certain principle. Amongst rank 3 celestials, there was an immense power difference. Wang Junmo was much stronger than ordinary rank 3 celestials. He was clearly weaker than Long Chen in terms of power, but his sword released strange fluctuations that blocked a portion of his power, that made it seem like they were evenly matched. Not bad, but killing power doesn't rely on brute force. I'll let you see an assassin's true speed. Wang Junmo suddenly became like a phantom. He was clearly in front of Long Chen, but he suddenly appeared behind him, his sword stabbing toward his throat. This speed seemed to have broken spatial resistance and it was impossible to keep up with him with the naked eye. The instant he moved, Long Chen felt like his sword had already reached his neck. This speed was inconceivable. It was no wonder Wang Junmo was so arrogant. With this kind of speed, even if he wanted to assassinate someone from the front, there would only be a few people that could dodge. By the time other experts noticed him, his blade would have pierced through their bodies. Even when killing someone openly, others wouldn't have the qualifications to resist him. So it was natural that Wang Junmo had gotten bored of killing people from behind. Perhaps in the same realm, there was no one who could block this speed of his. That was why he had started to disdain sneak attacks. He was like a ghost. Long Chen had never seen such speed. He also realized why assassins liked such thin swords. 
the spatial resistance was reduced to the greatest possible extent, and his attacks came silently without any warning. Long Chen's saber was too long, and competing with technique against him would put him at a disadvantage. Seeing Wang Junmo's attack coming, his saber suddenly slashed toward Wang Junmo's waist. This was Long Chen's most shameless, most rascally, yet also most effective technique, a suicidal technique to bring down his opponent with him, because in terms of speed, Long Chen definitely couldn't match an assassin, that would be competing against his opponent's strongest point, and doing so would be too stupid, don't use the same technique in front of me, Wang Junmo, twice, sneered Wang Junmo, his body twisted strangely like he was made of smoke, but his sword continued to stab toward Long Chen's throat, Long Chen also sneered, I, Long Chen, also dislike using the same move twice, seeing that sneer, Wang Junmo's expression suddenly changed, from Long Chen's originally empty hand, a lightning spear condensed and stabbed toward his body, boom, his sword didn't end up reaching Long Chen, but the spear ended up touching Wang Junmo's chest, it was unknown what was on Wang Junmo's body, but whatever it was, it had broken Long Chen's lightning spear, his lightning runes scattered into the air, Long Chen smiled, he hadn't been hoping for this attack to kill Wang Junmo, his saber was already pointed toward the sky, and the energy he had been storing up erupted, this was his true killing blow, split the heavens too, chapter 810 Bonathorn Bloodmuth King Translator, born to be Saber key sword into the sky, releasing a brilliant light that drowned out the sun, Wang Junmo's heart shook, although he had used a secret art to break Long Chen's lightning spear, the thunder force had still caused his body to go numb, and now Long Chen had taken advantage of this opportunity to release an immense attack, if he was struck, then even 10 lives wouldn't be enough, killing God Blood Blade, Wang Junmo's transparent sword began to shine, a majestic energy was arising within it, boom, this was a world-shaking collision, a saber and a sword clashed together, blowing the Bonathorn Bloodmuffs to bits, the majority of Insect Island was engulfed by this attack, those experts fighting the insects were also blown apart, Long Chen was sent flying, he was startled, his arms were tingling and he felt like his blood was flipping inside him, but then seeing Wang Junmo's shining sword, he understood, treasure weapon, Wang Junmo's sword had to be a treasure weapon, although Wang Junmo couldn't activate a treasure item's full power, just activating a bit of it was enough for him to match Long Chen's attack, die, Wang Junmo suddenly shouted, sword images filled the sky and shot toward Long Chen, shockingly, those sword images were not just images, they were made of countless runes, their destructive power was incomparably terrifying, Long Chen snorted, suddenly, his spiritual strength erupted and countless golden scales appeared around him. Those scales were from the hidden ground gold spider king. They had its core runes and were incomparably sharp. They were natural soul items. After obtaining them, Long Chen had continuously nourished them with his spiritual strength to make them his soul items. The sword images crashed onto the scales. The land shook. Guo Ran had just crawled out of the mud. He was lucky he had his armor. Otherwise, he would have been killed like the others. But even so. The impact of the blows had caused his head to grow faint. He had almost lost consciousness. Boom. As soon as he crawled up, the land trembled again. He didn't even know what was going on when he was once more sent flying and buried by mud. After this attack, Wang Junmo and Long Chen's auras began to steadily rise in preparation for a fierce battle. One was emitting fierce sword key, while the other had a sea of golden scales around him. But suddenly, the land split apart and a terrifying pressure descended upon the world. Long Chen and Wang Junmo's expressions changed. They sensed the aura of seventh rank magical beasts. The ground was continuously breaking apart. Seven huge figures broke out of the ground. Those were seven Bonathorn Bloodmuffs that were each 30 meters long. But they weren't completely black as they had silver spots. The huge bone thorn on their backs was chilling to look at. HMPH. How disappointing. Little fellow. If you don't die. I'll take your life next time. Snorted Wang Junmo. His sword's runes lit up, and just like that, it shot off with him into the distance. Its speed was incredible, and he flew a thousand miles in the blink of an eye. So treasure items can also be used as flying tools. Long Chen immediately thought of Zhu Yu's black sword and how it had brought him away at the end as well. But he had no time to keep thinking about that. A huge bone thorn was piercing toward him with a space-tearing noise. Long Chen hastily raised his saber and slashed down at it. Boom. The bone thorn shattered but Long Chen was also knocked back, vomiting blood, he almost lost his grip on his saber, Long Chen had only just broken it when another bone thorn shot toward him, 
Long Chen had no confidence in being able to block it with his already numb arms. But a golden shield appeared in front of him. At this critical moment, Guo Ran appeared. The bone thorn smashed onto the shield. Guo Ran coughed up blood. But of course, it stayed within his armor. He shot back like a shooting star. Long Chen hastily caught onto him. As a result, he was also pulled away. This attack came from a 7th rank Bonathorn Bloodmuth King. It was incredibly powerful. These insect kings had been here for who knew how long. They had grown a bit of intelligence. And they knew that the reason they couldn't leave this island was because of the lamp. When they noticed that killing experts near the lamp would cause it to weaken, they had begun to order those lower rank Bonathorn Bloodmuths to attack the trial takers. Perhaps it was because the lamp had been taken away. Or perhaps it was because of Long Chen's battle with Wang Junmo. Either way, they had been disturbed and almost instinctively attacked Long Chen. What should we do boss? We can't defeat Ring seven of them, shouted Guo Ran. If you fly away, will you be faster than them? Asked Long Chen. He saw that these huge insect kings also had wings on them. It's no problem for me to fly away, but what about you? Guo Ran could summon wings on his armor. Furthermore, he had drawn out the energy within the wind spirit stones that Tang Wan Er hadn't needed. His flying speed was definitely amazing, but when he had set up that flying mechanism, he had only planned it for himself. He hadn't tested flying with other people, which was why he was so panicked. You go first. Wait for me at our gathering spot, decided Long Chen. But you just go. I have my own method of getting away. All right. Hearing that, Guo Ran was greatly relieved. Dropping his arms, two small wings appeared on his back. Following that, he pointed his butt and a powerful force sent him flying into the distance. He instantly disappeared, and his speed was definitely no lower than Wang Junmo's. It was just that Long Chen couldn't understand why that little fellow had decided to put the propulsion in such an awkward position like the butt. Another large bone thorn shot over, breaking Long Chen's line of thought. He hastily dodged to the side, taking out the dragon scale. He shouted, stop. However, his response was another bone thorn. These insect kings ignored his dragon scale. It seemed they couldn't sense the dragon might within it. As expected, the dragon might doesn't have as much effect on armored magical beasts. This result was within Long Chen's expectations. Seeing that the dragon scale was ineffective, he activated the netherworld ghost steps and fled. There was no way around it. There was no way he could face seven seventh rank magical beasts. Seeing him flee, the seven insect kings flapped their wings and chased. But Long Chen was pleasantly surprised to see that their flying speed wasn't as fast as he had imagined. However, they were still faster than him. Using his spiritual strength, he sent those golden scales shooting toward them. Sparks flew along with a metallic ringing. Those golden scales were completely unable to break through their outer shell. All this was within Long Chen's expectations. He was just hoping for the scales to slow them down a bit. However, the scales only caused them to slow down ever so slightly. They were still faster than him, and the distance between them was rapidly shortening. It was unknown whether they had used up their bone thorns or whether they were unwilling to use them, but they only continued chasing after him. However, their two antennas shone with a cold light that gave him goosebumps. Lai Long, Huo Long, stall them. Long Chen's arm shook as those two fellows flew out. The two of them had yet to completely recover after he had exhausted all their energy. Long Chen now told them not to attack and to merely intimidate the insect king so that they wouldn't get close. As expected, once Lai Long and Huo Long appeared, the Bonathorn Bloodmuth King's speed immediately dropped. They didn't dare to get close. But although they were afraid, they were unwilling to let Long Chen off. They continued to chase him. Long Chen didn't know how far he had fled before an abyss appeared in front of him. He quickly pulled back Lai Long, and a pair of lightning wings appeared on his back. He shot across the abyss and onto the next landmass. Once he stepped onto the ground, he looked back, putting away Huo Long as well. He stared at the Bonathorn Bloodmuth kings that were separated from him by the abyss. He saw that they didn't dare to cross the abyss. The Shao tribe's old tribe leader had told him that these abysses had divine energy within them. Cultivators might not be able to sense that pressure, but magical beasts were very sensitive to it. He had told Long Chen that if he encountered magical beasts that he couldn't defeat he should cross an abyss as fast as possible, then he would be safe. Now, Long Chen saw that it really was effective, but at the same time, he quickly formed hand seals, preparing to activate the raging flame prison. If they charged over, he could only rely on that magical art to handle them. 
If he used his full strength with the Raging Flame Prison, it would definitely be incomparably powerful. But the exhaustion would also be immense. He wouldn't dare to say that he could kill them, but trapping them so he could get away should still be possible. However, using his full strength would exhaust him so much that both his spiritual yuan and spiritual strength might hit rock bottom. Being that weak in such a place was exceedingly dangerous. So Long Chen didn't want to do that unless he was forced. He saw the Bonathorn Bloodmuth Kings fly along the edge of the abyss several times. But in the end, they left. Long Chen sighed with relief and wiped off some sweat. Determining where he was, he began rushing off to meet up with Guo Ran. Chapter 811 Dividing Loop Translator Born to be after rushing for a while, he finally saw the place Guo Ran had heroically saved those women. He had long since begun anxiously pacing. Boss, you're still alive. Guo Ran emotionally ran over. Those had been seven Bonathorn Bloodmuth Kings and were all incomparably terrifying seventh rank magical beasts. Just blocking one of their bone thorns had caused Guo Ran to cough up blood. He was naturally extremely worried for Long Chen to handle seven of them at the same time. Fuck. This time I really am pissed. Cursed Long Chen. He found a clean rock and directly sat. What? Guo Ran was startled. Guo Ran still didn't know about the matter of the lamp. He had been focused on gathering those weapons and spatial rings, and his sight had been blocked by the skeletons. Long Chen told Guo Ran about it. That lamp had definitely been an extraordinary treasure. How could something that could be the core of Insect Island be something ordinary? But such a treasure had been taken by someone else. Furthermore, Long Chen had even been stabbed. He was still infuriated. You shouldn't be angry. After all, Wang Junmo noticed it before everyone and set everything up. The fact that you could stop his assassination is enough to be happy about. Comforted Guo Ran. Wang Junmo was a terrifying assassin. He was the top assassin in the Blood Kill Hall's junior generation. His combat power was high, and his assassination arts were exquisite. To be able to survive his sneak attack when he wasn't on guard was truly worthy of pride. TCH, you're thinking too simply. This wasn't his trap. He just said that to be a poser and distract me. Long Chen shook his head. What? Use your brain. If he had really arrived so early, why didn't he go take the things in that mountain of skeletons? It is really possible that he wasn't moved by that many weapons and spatial rings? The truth is that he followed us from behind, watching us in secret. In his eyes, no matter how many things we obtained, we're just his prey, and he can take those things whenever he wants. He waited until I was about to take the lamp to attack. He also saw that the lamp was extraordinary. Perhaps he even knows the origin of the lamp. As for those words he said once he took the lamp, they were just a bunch of lies to shake my confidence. He was just acting as if everything was in his control. An assassin's scheming ability is the greatest, other than the principle to kill their targets in one shot or flee. Even when facing people head on, they'll use such things to rattle their opponents. He just said those things to make me subconsciously think he was too strong. I didn't expect that you would actually believe his nonsense. I don't really know what to say. Long Chen shook his head. What the fuck? That scheming really is profound. Guo Ran was shocked. The path you're walking on is different from other people. But you have to remember, the greatest openings aren't in people's battle skills or techniques, but in their hearts. Those are the fatal openings. Why do I want to raise everyone's undefeatable will? Because as long as you believe you are undefeatable, those kinds of schemes are useless. No matter how you try to shake me, I'll still believe I can kill you in one blow. Noveloon.com Only a flawless heart can maintain a clear mind, have a solid foundation and be fearless in the face of death. Otherwise, the slightest opening in your heart can lead to death maturing but if you cultivate that undefeatable will, those mental games will be of no use against you. The only question is whether your opponents will send themselves to their death sooner or later. The things that are mine are mine. Whoever takes them will be killed. Thinking of the lamp, Long Chen's fury once more began to rise. Guo Ran prostrated himself toward Long Chen in admiration. Despite almost dying to a sneak attack, he still didn't feel any lingering fear, nor was there the slightest shadow over his heart. His heart had to be completely pure and clear. Boss, why is it that there's such an immense difference between rank 3 celestials? Asked Guo Ran. The previous rank 3 celestials he had encountered had been weak enough for him to kill if he went all out. But Wang Junmo's power couldn't even be compared to that. The shock waves from his battle could send him flying while directly killing other experts. Even the Bonathorn Bloodmuffs had been instantly killed. It completely exceeded Guo Ran's understanding. In Guo Ran's opinion, with his golden armor, he should have been unrevealed. 
Defeating Rank 3 Celestial should be easy for him. He had even started to think that he would be able to fight on the same level as Wang Junmo and the others. But Long Chen's battle with Wang Junmo had been like a bucket of ice water over him. He learned just how great the difference was between him and them. However, he still couldn't understand why there was such an immense difference between Rank 3 Celestials. Before entering the immemorial path, the sect master told me that Celestials are split into innate and acquired types. The power difference between them is like heaven and earth. Now I finally understand what she meant, sighed Long Chen. Innate and acquired. Acquired refers to using outer power to increase the innate rank. For example, Shu Guan's he was originally an innate rank 2 celestial. Later, he relied on the heavenly water pearl to advance to a rank 3 celestial. But his talent was originally only enough to become a rank 2 celestial. Using outer power to increase his rank makes him an acquired celestial. As for Wang Junmo, Zhu Yu, and the others. They are innate rank 3 celestials. If I were to make an analogy, acquired rank 3 celestials are stalks of grass that have grown 3 feet tall to reach their current limit. But innate rank 3 celestials are 3 foot tall saplings. Whether it is their current quality or their potential for growth in the future, there is an immense difference, explained Long Chen. Guo Ran nodded in understanding, but he was also shocked. This was his first time hearing of this. He had actually thought that all celestials had climbed up equally. Thinking of that, his newfound confidence immediately received a blow. Those innate celestials were the true favorites. No matter how hard others tried, it was useless. What grass could grow taller than a tree? You don't need to be so depressed. I've long since told you that there's nothing you can't beat. Although you used heavenly Deo fruit to become celestials, as long as you nurture that undefeatable will, your power will also be limitless. Do you know why sword cultivators are claimed to possess the greatest offensive might? Asked Long Chen suddenly. I really don't know. Guo Ran shook his head. Everyone said that. But while there were millions of sword users, there were few that were true sword cultivators. In the era of legends, there were gods up in the heavens. Their believers all received the god's blessing. Legend is that amongst those gods was a sword god. They were infatuated with the sword, and offered up their very body. They declared that all sword cultivators would receive the sword god's blessing, allowing their sword to cut apart heaven, earth, devil, and gods. Legend says that after that declaration, the sword god directly sacrificed their body to their sword. Both their body and sword dissipated, sprinkling throughout the worlds, having their own karmic luck be added to those sword cultivators, said Long Chen. So they have a god's blessing. No wonder sword cultivators are acclaimed as number one in offense. Long Chen shook his head. Can you really believe such legends? There is only one thing I believe, and that is that if a person can have a firm belief in something, they will be able to bring forth miracles. For example, when Yu Zifan was lost, I told him to trust his sword. It is his companion and his master. It is his greatest faith. And if he believes in it, it will surprise him. Unexpectedly, he actually comprehended the sword intent so quickly. So before the immemorial path, that idiot was killed in a single blow. After killing that person, Yu Zifan has truly opened up his sword path. In the future, he'll become a terrifying sword cultivator. I don't know whether the sword god is real, but I know that once you have enough faith, all miracles are possible. You are the dragon blood legion's general. You have to be an example. Cultivate your own undefeatable Deo. You're still not confident enough in yourself. In truth, if you really did go all out, then even encountering Zhu Yu or Wang Junmo, you definitely have some ability to fight. In fact, you might even have a chance at killing them. What do you feel so inferior about? Despite being a man-made rank 2 celestial, you still possess such power. That's enough to be proud of. Furthermore, you'll also quickly become a rank 3 celestial. So do you have to be afraid of them? Long Chen smiled and took out a heavenly Deo fruit. This heavenly Deo fruit had three different kinds of runes on it. If Guo Ran refined it, he would immediately advance to become a rank 3 celestial. Heavens, you. Guo Ran jumped, immediately thinking of something. He, yes. As long I kill a celestial, I can turn them into heavenly Deo fruits. So, you understand, laughed Long Chen. This was his first time explaining his ability. The heavenly Deo fruits had to be kept a secret. If such a heaven-defying ability was noticed, the entire world would be disturbed. Long Chen definitely didn't want to face the chasing of the entire world. Guo Ran's eyes brightened excitedly. Haha, <laughs> then in the future, won't I be commanding the world's most terrifying legion? That title will definitely be badass. Grow up a bit. You're now someone with status. Here, 
You can refine this heavenly Dao fruit. Boss, you should leave it to Song Mingguan or Li Qi. I have enough power to protect myself. But those two, Guo Ran's meaning was that they were weaker and needed it more. It's fine. From before, I already have three of them. You can use one, and then keep one. If you meet one of our people, you can give it to them. Ah, I'll also give you some rank 2 heavenly Dao fruits. I'll keep one rank 3 heavenly Dao fruit in case I meet our people first. Anyway, you don't need to worry. We have plenty of enemies, and we'll have too many heavenly Dao fruit to even use up. Other than that, here's something good. Long Chen took out a bucket that made Guo Ran jump. Chapter 812 Lightning Body Blink Translator Born to be boss, this is a treasure. Guo Ran involuntarily gulped upon seeing that bucket. The refreshing scent that assaulted him made him feel like he was going limp. He felt relaxed and happy. Take care not to get your saliva inside. This is Divine Mortal Molting Elixir. It can expel all the impurities in your body, allowing you to completely stabilize your foundation. Its effect is practically miraculous, and it's an extremely rare treasure. I'll leave five buckets with you, which should be enough. But don't drink it now. Find a place to refine the Heavenly Dao fruit first, and then drink it, said Long Chen. After giving him the Divine Mortal Molting Elixir, Long Chen also had Guo Ran take a picture of the map he had obtained from the old tribe leader. This was definitely the most detailed map, and it was also a priceless treasure here. Alright, that's basically everything I got. Now bring out what you have so I can see if there's anything useful, said Long Chen. Guo Ran became a bit embarrassed. Boss, during these days, all I did was roam around. I didn't manage to get anything. I killed a few people, but I didn't get anything good from them. His face was a bit hot. It seemed that other than roaming around, acting like the biggest poser he could be, and showing off the ability of his golden armor, he hadn't done anything else. I'm talking about the things within that mountain of skeletons, said Long Chen, rolling his eyes. Oh, right. Guo Ran patted his head. With a wave of his hand, a pile of weapons appeared. There were over a hundred enchanted items. Furthermore, they were all at least middle grade ones. As a forging master, Guo Ran ignored lower grade ones. 19 high grade enchanted items and 137 middle grade enchanted items, said Guo Ran excitedly. The main reason he was so excited was because he could study these weapons to see what forging techniques had been used in creating them. He could then compare them to his own forging principles. Long Chen picked out two sabers from that pile. His current saber had a large gash in it from Wang Junmo's sword. Although it was still somewhat usable, it was unknown whether or not it would shatter the next time he used Split the Heavens. Before Bloodrinker awoke, he could only rely on these things. The remaining weapons were put away by Guo Ran. He then took out a pile of spatial rings. He grumbled, if it weren't for that idiot Wang Junmo, I'd have gotten even more. Due to Wang Junmo and Long Chen's battle, the mountain of skeletons had been broken and Guo Ran had been sent flying. Then those Bonathorn Bloodmuth kings had appeared, so there had been no opportunity to gather more. There's only 87, said Guo Ran. That's fine. What's inside? The two of them rapidly went through the spatial rings. Oh, there are those cases we found on the island. Guo Ran was delighted to see the same cases that the two of them had gathered on Insect Island. With just a bit of work, they went through all the spatial rings. Long Chen ignored the weapons and medicinal pills as he was more interested in those jade cases. They quickly found a hundred of them. Both of them were excited. He, opening treasure chests is so addicting, laughed Guo Ran. He opened the first one. The inside of the first one was empty. Most likely, whatever had been inside had been taken out or had been ruined by the passing of time. And so the original owner of this spatial ring had just kept the case. They opened four empty cases in a row, causing Guo Ran to become a bit uneasy. But on the fifth one, they saw a golden piece of paper inside. Careful, don't move. Long Chen suddenly waved his hand, and his spiritual strength formed a barrier around the two of them as well as the case. That was an ancient talisman, but because of how long it had existed, it was on the verge of breaking apart. When Guo Ran had opened the case, the talisman had instantly changed color, about to crumble. If Long Chen hadn't summoned a barrier, then a single breeze would have broken it. It's eroded, but the design on it is still clear. You should record it. Perhaps it'll be useful, said Long Chen. Guo Ran examined the rune and was startled. Boss, this is an explosion rune. Hmm. Long Chen shook his head. He didn't know anything about talismans. It's a rune that possesses an immense explosive force. I also have a kind of explosion rune, but its power is limited. 
However, it seems this runes tier must be shockingly high. The lines are incomparably complicated. If I used it, perhaps even rank 3 celestials would be unable to block it, said Guo Ran excitedly. Good. Then hurry up and record it. There are still so many treasure chests. Or should I open them all? Said Long Chen. No. 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 Boss. Let me. How could such shallow work be left to you? I wouldn't want to inconvenience you. Guo Ran recorded the explosion talisman and continued opening the cases. The thing that made Long Chen speechless was that Guo Ran seemed to have become an addict. He opened each one of them slowly and suspensefully. He also seemed to be muttering a prayer. Long Chen laughed inside. If he muttered a curse instead, would what was inside suddenly change? His prayers had no use. He once more opened five empty cases. On the sixth case, there was a jade slip. Lightning something something. Read Guo Ran. He only recognized the first of the immortal characters. Lightning body blink. Long Chen was startled. This was a lightning magical art. It had to be known that lightning techniques were exceedingly rare since there were so few lightning cultivators. Boss, you can read immortal characters, asked Guo Ran. Long Chen was too lazy to respond. This jade slip released powerful spiritual fluctuations. There was a formation on top of it that preserved the spiritual strength inside. This was an inheritance jade slip. It was different from other tomes. An expert had sacrificed a portion of their spiritual strength to seal the technique inside the jade slip. People who activated the jade slip with their spiritual strength would have the jade slip's contents transmitted to them instantly. Long Chen extended his spiritual strength. Soft light blossomed from the jade slip, and it lit up Long Chen's forehead. A figure appeared in his mind. That person was formed from lightning. It rushed about within Long Chen's mind sea, rapidly turning and twisting. In the end, it turned into countless lightning figures. Long Chen was unable to grasp its trajectory. Its speed was absolutely shocking. Suddenly, the figure stopped. Then countless lightning runes appeared, flowing down certain tracks. It was extremely easy to see. This is how to circulate the thunder force. Long Chen was delighted and he hastily focused on memorizing them. Outside the body, it was extremely easy to see how those lightning runes were supposed to move. However, it was extremely complicated. It was good that they moved slow enough for Long Chen to memorize them. Those runes went through three circulations before coming to a pause. That was the foundational principle of this magical art. Magical arts were different from battle skills. Battle skills could be directly activated, but magical arts required circulating the original elemental energy. For example, when Long Chen wanted to use the Raging Flame Prison, he needed to circulate the Earth Flame's energy according to a set locus. After mastering the Raging Flame Prison, it was much easier for Long Chen to understand new magical arts. After displaying the foundational circulation method, the lightning runes once more changed orbit. This time, they lit up around the hands and feet. Then they rapidly condensed within the body, forming hundreds of lightning whirlpools. Those whirlpools were all over the body's acupuncture points. At that moment, that person's body entered a special state. It was like the body had been opened and could connect perfectly with the outside world. It was like a puppet with countless threads attached to it. When one thread was pulled, the body was pulled in one direction, pulling another thread pulled in another direction. However, the body wasn't a puppet. These threads were controlled by the user. The entire world was turned into a fixed space. And in that space, a single thought to pull a thread would allow you to rapidly move. Long Chen had just reached that point in his thoughts when the figure began to move again. It repeated what it had originally displayed. It went from slow to fast with clear intervals, allowing Long Chen to comprehend everything. But the figure continued to move faster and faster. The whirlpools also became more and more intense. When it moved, some whirlpools were opened, while some were closed. What marvelous control. Long Chen was awed. This technique relied on spiritual strength to control the whirlpools to decide the direction and speed. It was definitely extremely difficult to control. Not only did this technique require high comprehension, spiritual strength, and control, but it also required an immense amount of training. It was to be used basically by instinct. Otherwise, if you had to focus on controlling the whirlpools in battle, it would just be a distraction that would lead to death. Although it was very difficult, the lightning body blink's power didn't need to be doubted. When he had fought against Wang Junmo, Wang Junmo had taken the advantage in terms of speed and Long Chen had relied on the length of his saber to fight him. However, he hadn't dared to move his position, or he would have been at a definite disadvantage. Now he had obtained this lightning body blink. 
It was clearly a movement art and an extremely powerful magical art. It was just what Long Chen had needed. That figure continuously moved in Long Chen's mind, teaching him everything in exact detail. Each movement would be repeated at least three times. All kinds of angles and methods to use the technique were displayed. In two hours, Long Chen already had an extremely high level of comprehension toward the lightning body blink. He slowly opened his eyes and saw that Guo Ran had already opened all the cases. Regretfully, there weren't as many treasures as they had imagined. But there were quite a few decent things that attracted Guo Ran's attention. He was currently studying them. Long Chen stood up and patted off the dust on his body. All right, you should find a place nearby to go into seclusion and refine the heavenly day of fruit. Once you come out, do your best to find Song Mingguan and Li Qi. But if you really can't find them, then just leave it be. We'll meet sooner or later at the end of the path. After that, Long Chen gathered his thoughts and adjusted his mood. He continued deeper into the immemorial path. He had already chosen his next target. Chapter 813 Nine Stars Accompanying a Moon Translator Born to be Long Chen was like a bolt of lightning streaking past mountains. At this point, the wind had reached the level that even he couldn't keep his eyes open. His entire body was covered in thunder force. He didn't need wings right now and just directly shot forward. There were over a hundred lightning whirlpools activated that were pulling him in one direction. Long Chen had never experienced this kind of speed before. He suddenly paused it up a high mountain. Here, he could see everything around him. Amazing. Truly amazing. Long Chen excitedly clenched his fists. He had already reached an initial control over the lightning body blink. He found that it was practically specially tailored for him. Normally, movement arts were only useful in either battle or long distance travel. But Long Chen found that the lightning body blink was an exception. Once all the lightning whirlpools were activated in one direction, his speed was beyond belief. However, this was only an initial mastery as he was still gradually accustoming himself to it. But he trusted that he would be able to use it in battle soon. Wang Junmo, just wait. It's not so easy to take my things. With the lightning body blink, Long Chen was no longer worried about Wang Junmo's ghost-like movement art. When he encountered him again, he could have a real battle. In the last battle, Neither of them had truly used their full power. If they fought a life and death battle, it would be hard to say who would be the victor. But Long Chen didn't feel any fear. This enmity had to be avenged. That time had truly been too stifling. He had never suffered such a loss before. Standing at the peak of the mountain, Long Chen looked around. He noticed a large but faint X in the ground. Without intentionally looking for it from above, it was essentially impossible to notice. This was the trial the Shao tribe had been in charge of guarding back then. Demon Devil Cave. The name sounded extremely terrifying, but the old tribe leader said that this was one of exceedingly few trials in the immemorial path that didn't pose any danger. Even if he failed the trial, he would be able to live. This trial had fortunately survived the destruction of the immemorial path. The Shao tribe had hidden the entrance to it. Without their map as well as the large X marking, it would be impossible to find it. After the danger on Insect Island, Long Chen had decided to first take advantage of this place to see if he could gain some opportunity to increase his strength. Although he had reached the 10th Vestige of Xi'anshan, there were still three levels until sea expansion. As for Zhu Yu, Wang Junmo, and the others, they had already reached the peak of Xi'anshan. They could already touch the barrier, or their auras wouldn't be so strong. They might reach half-step sea expansion at any time. Furthermore, Long Chen had found that those like Zhu Yu and Wang Junmo who were innate rank 3 celestials were now capable of suppressing him with their heavenly Dao runes. Although it wasn't as intense as before when he had faced Yun Wusheng for the first time, the feeling of being suppressed was definitely present. That affected his ability to release his power in battle. In a battle between experts, the slightest difference could decide life and death. That made him feel a sense of danger. The old tribe leader had said that this trial was extremely helpful to raise a person's strength. So Long Chen had decided to come here first. But the old tribe leader had also said that there were many different difficulties. And so the rewards were also different. In any case, the majority of those rewards were all used to directly increase personal power. It's right here. Long Chen walked to the marking. This place was a flat plain without anything odd. But there was a rock on the ground. It looked extremely ordinary like any other rock, but Long Chen knew that this place was the transportation site. He took out a jade bottle and dripped a drop of a mysterious liquid that the old tribe leader had given him onto the stone. The stone sucked it up like a sponge. Buzz. The ground quivered and Long Chen felt space twist. 
He suddenly appeared in a spacious room. That rock was the key to activating the transportation formation. It had transported Long Chen underground. This was something the Shao tribe had set up to protect the trial. It was completely dark underground. But a Xi'anchen expert had good vision. Adding on spiritual strength. This kind of environment wouldn't pose much of a problem to most experts. Once he was inside, Long Chen looked around. This place had been preserved perfectly. There were large stages, pillars, stone steps, and even the decorative designs had been preserved. Long Chen could even imagine many experts coming here countless years ago, lining up, waiting their turn to take the trial while the Shao tribe's people maintained order. But now, this place was empty. All those people were gone. Thinking of that made him sigh with emotion. That huge battle had created an unsolvable riddle. Following the main path of the room, after a few miles, the space suddenly opened up. This space was actually thousands of miles wide. Long Chen couldn't help being startled. How was there such an immense space underground? On the opposing wall, there were huge statues carved into it. Seeing them, Long Chen came to a sudden halt. He saw a carving of a full moon hanging in the sky at night. Furthermore, there were nine sparkling stars around that moon. Although it was just a carving, when he looked at it, it felt extremely realistic as if he was standing in the picture and looking up at the starry sky. The nine stars formed a ring around the moon. It was a beautiful scene. Although the nine stars seemed so distant, their light could still illuminate the night sky. In fact, even the moon's glow was covered by them. Seeing this, Long Chen immediately thought of the stone carving he had seen in the ancient tomb in the Jiuli secret realm. That scene had also been of a night sky, but there had been no moon. It had just been an elder forging weapons beneath the starry sky. Within that starry sky, there had also been nine radiant stars that had blocked out the light of the other stars. But at that time, the nine stars hadn't been revolving around a moon, but one large star. Both murals had nine stars. Was the starry sky like that back in ancient times? Muttered Long Chen. Was the starry sky different back then? But if that was the case, what had happened for it to change? Long Chen's head was a mess. Looking at the carvings. He seemed to think of something, something extremely important. But no matter how hard he tried, he was unable to grasp what it was exactly. In the end, all he gained for his efforts was a splitting headache. He took a deep breath and stopped trying. Looking below the carvings, he saw a splendid, glorious construction. It was in the shape of a huge cross. There were immense castles, tall towers, and glorious palaces. There were rivers flowing throughout, lakes sparkling like jade and even islands that were sprinkled about like stars in the sky. This, this is the original immemorial path. Long Chen was amazed. This carving was an imitation of the immemorial path. Compared to the splendor from back then, the current immemorial path could truly be described as ruined. Relying on this imitation, he looked toward the edge where he saw the gate. That was the gate with the image that Long Chen had so painstakingly used the primal chaos bead to record. But in the imitation, that image was too indistinct. He could only tell that it generally looked the same as the image he had recorded. Just what had happened for the glorious immemorial path to end up in its ruined state? Long Chen saw that the palaces he should have seen on the way were all gone now. They were either crumbled or had fallen into the abyss. Looking at the immemorial path in its golden days, Long Chen was unable to calm himself for a long time. It seemed the current cultivation world was in a truly broken age compared to back then. The current immemorial path was in ruins. Looking at the carvings, he saw that the true trials had been those castles and towers. Those had been the true, main trials. As for the trials marked on his map, those were further away from the main path. That meant that the true trials had already disappeared. To put it frankly, it was like a bowl of pork bone soup with no more meat, bone, or noodles. All that remained was a single drop of broth. In the current cultivation era, all the experts were going all out fighting over that one drop of broth. Just thinking of that made Long Chen feel sorrowful. Had the world truly declined to such a point? He wasn't able to calm himself. Just what had happened to this world? What had happened to that glorious golden age for it to become its current state? Were the legends true? In that era, had people been capable of cultivating to immortality and godhood? Were there truly secrets to becoming an immortal or god within the immemorial path? Long Chen took a deep breath, suppressing his chaotic thoughts. Those things couldn't help him at all. Instead, they would just distract him. He carefully looked at the carving again. He confirmed that it wasn't as strange as the rune he had recorded with the primal chaos space and he continued onward. The entrance to the true trial was there. The entrance was a stage covered with immortal characters. 
After going to the Xiao tribe, Long Chen had learned much about the immortal era, and so he recognized more immortal characters now. Each one of these immortal characters was circular, and they were transportation formations. As long as someone stepped onto them, it would activate and send them to the trial. The different immortal characters represented different levels of the trial. He also now recognized the character representing the peak trial. Looking at it, Long Chen was speechless. Just how had he managed to choose the peak level twice in that trial cave region? Was he incredibly lucky, or incredibly unlucky? Since there's no danger to my life, I'll naturally choose the peak level. Long Chen smiled and directly walked over to the strongest immortal character. There was a total of eight levels, and Long Chen picked the hardest one. Taking out the jade plate the old tribe leader had given him, he pressed it onto the immortal character. The jade plate immediately began to merge into it, and the immortal character began to shine. Long Chen's body tightened, and he found himself inside a cavern. The cavern was sealed and square-shaped. The ground was lined with bricks. It looked just like a dueling arena, and there was a carving of a lifelike giant ape on the opposing wall. Buzz. Long Chen had just entered when that wall lit up. It was like daytime in the cavern. A heaven-shaking roar rang out, shaking Long Chen's ears. He jumped in shock. Chapter 814 Leveling Up the Movement Art Translator Born to be a 3-meter ape covered in black fur had appeared in front of Long Chen suddenly. Its fists repeatedly beat its chest as it let out a fierce cry that shook the entire cave. Ancient Devil Ape Long Chen felt a chill. This was a 7th rank magical beast, and an extremely powerful one at that. It let out a furious roar while its frightening eyes revealed an icy glow. The ape was filled with a berserk and murderous aura. Its killing intent washed over Long Chen. The ancient devil ape charged over. Its huge fist released berserk fluctuations as it smashed toward Long Chen. There's no danger of me losing my life here. Why do I feel like that's questionable now? Long Chen couldn't sense the slightest friendliness from this berserk and murderous ape. Boom. Thunder force circulated. Long Chen disappeared, causing the ape's fist to land on the wall. A seventh rank magical beast's attack was enough to shatter mountains. But the wall merely shook intensely. There was no actual damage. There are formations. Long Chen realized that this place was truly a martial arena. The only way to get the reward was by beating the ape. The ancient devil ape once more roared and light suddenly shone from its body. That light came from the runes that covered every inch of its body. An even fiercer aura surged. Truly worthy of being an ancient species. Its innate divine ability is so powerful. But in terms of power, I'm not afraid. Long Chen snorted and his divine ring appeared along with four stars in his pupils. Boom. Their fists collided. Long Chen was forced back and slammed into the wall behind him, his blood roiling. But the ape also suffered. It didn't get any advantage over him. Long Chen felt a burst of delight. That ancient devil ape's strongest point was its power. But he was able to face it head on in power. That was enough to be proud of. After being forced back, the ape became even more furious. It shot back over. As for Long Chen, he met each one of its fists, choosing to fight head on. It had been a long time since he had fought like this. The feeling of fighting with his fists at full power was extremely addictive. Thunder Force covered his fists, and runes surged out with each collision. The cavern was rocking continuously. Long Chen fought a fierce battle with the ancient devil ape. None of their attacks were the slightest bit fancy. They were all just pure brute force. After over a hundred fists, the pit of Long Chen's stomach was starting to hurt from the powerful collisions. But he was filled with excitement. This was his first time fighting with his bare hands like this. It was his first time experiencing how delightful it was to fight with his fists at full power. He suddenly felt that fists were the best weapons. The two of them were disproportionately sized. But their power was equally matched. With each collision, lightning would erupt and the cavern would shake. There wasn't the slightest technique or flashiness in their attacks. In truth. As Long Chen was only at the Xi'anshan realm, he was actually a bit weaker than the ancient devil ape in terms of power. But Long Chen didn't back down the slightest bit. He went all out. He wasn't afraid of being injured. He had the primal chaos speed, And as long as he wasn't killed, his injuries practically instantly recovered. The huge trees he had obtained in the spirit world had become his greatest dependency in the immemorial path. The life energy within those trees was just too amazing. After fighting for six hours, Long Chen felt incredibly satisfied and fulfilled. He had never felt like this before. This kind of battle was too delightful. His bare-handed fighting technique had increased a great deal after six hours. Previously, he had been too reliant on weapons. 
Now he understood that his greatest martial weapon should be his own physical body. After blocking the ancient devil ape's attack with a single fist, Long Chen swept out one of its legs, causing it to kneel on the ground. In the next instant, Long Chen was in the air, a foot viciously landing on its nose. This kick contained all of Long Chen's power. It sent the ape flying. It crashed into the wall and then rebounded back. But even after receiving such a powerful attack, it wasn't the slightest bit injured. It once more charged at Long Chen. Long Chen had long since figured out the ancient devil ape's fighting patterns. It might possess immense power, but having advanced to the 10th Havenstage of Xi'anshan, reached the third star transformation of the Enlightenment Palace star, and undergone the cleansing of the divine mortal molting elixir, Long Chen was no longer the same Long Chen that had entered the immemorial path. He was able to face such a powerful ancient devil ape head on. Its attacking style was very simple. By this time, its attacks posed no threat to Long Chen. Suddenly, Long Chen grabbed the ape's fist with both hands, skillfully neutralizing a portion of its power. He pulled with his full strength. The ape immediately rose into the sky and then was viciously slammed into the ground by Long Chen. Boom, boom, boom. Long Chen smashed it into the ground three times. The ground had long since begun to crumble. But even after such fierce impacts, the ape charged back at Long Chen. I can't beat it to death. Long Chen was both startled and enraged. His saber suddenly appeared in his hand, and a biting cold sob air key slashed at the ape Novaloon.com. The ancient devil ape was cut in two by Long Chen's saber, but Long Chen was startled to see that there was no blood. The ancient devil ape transformed into runes and flew back to the wall. Only then did Long Chen notice that this terrifying ancient devil ape had been the carving on the wall. It returned into its carving. What kind of formation could be this terrifying? It is able to transform runes into such a lifelike magical beast. Long Chen was shocked. This was something he had never even heard of in the eastern wasteland. It had already surpassed the scope of his understanding. Just as the ancient devil ape's runes flew back into its carving, a stone door slowly opened on the wall. The old tribe leader had told him that for the ordinary trials, there was only one level that needed to be cleared to pass the entire trial. But for the high-level trials, there were several levels. Different levels of difficulty represented different rewards. As soon as he walked through the stone door, it slammed shut behind him. Another circular stage appeared in front of him. Looking from a distance, it looked just like a wrestling ring. Long Chen had only just entered, and he hadn't even had time to look around when the sound of roaring filled his ears. Carvings lit up in the mural on the opposing wall, and dozens of fierce beasts charged at Long Chen. Blazing Wild Lion, Storm Gold Wolf, Dark Underworld Devil Leopard. Long Chen counted 32 7th rank magical beasts charging at him. His saber hastily slashed at the lead Storm Gold Wolf. But Long Chen was startled to see a golden light suddenly shine on the Storm Gold Wolf's body, and it instantly appeared dozens of meters away, dodging his saber. Just as he was startled, he felt wind behind him. A magical beast had flanked him. It was incredibly quick, and he had no time to defend properly. Suddenly, lightning lit up his body. It was like he had teleported up into the air, dodging that magical beast's fierce mouth. It's a good thing I have the lightning body blink. Long Chen took a deep breath. Although he knew these magical beasts were made of runes, their attack power wasn't much weaker than true 7th rank magical beasts. With this many appearing all at once, Long Chen really did have difficulty believing the old tribe leader's words. If he couldn't defeat Chiringtham, it seemed he really would die here. Looking around. Long Chen didn't see any signs of reward, so he knew that this trial wouldn't stop at this wave. Thinking of that, Long Chen decided to directly give up on killing these magical beasts. He chose to stay in the air and focus on dodging their attacks. Who knew how many waves would come from this trial? Considering the difference between the first and second wave, it was obvious each wave was more terrifying than the last. Long Chen gave up on attacking them. He was training his reflexes and the lightning body blink. He wanted to reach the point where he could instinctively control the lightning whirlpools. Thunder Force covered Long Chen's body as he descended back into the arena. He was surrounded by magical beasts and in an incredibly dangerous situation. If his reactions were too slow or that he made a mistake controlling the lightning body blink, he would immediately be struck by a fierce attack. Those magical beasts' claws and teeth were all powerful and capable of tearing through his body. Each time he was struck, Long Chen would clench his teeth in pain. I'll just treat it as a punishment for failure. Long Chen ground his teeth, bearing the pain. He intentionally didn't heal his injuries to force himself to focus more on dodging. Through constant observation and dodging, 
Long Chen finally found these magical beasts' weak point. That weak point was that they only had a set number of attack patterns. Not only were those attacks simple, but their bodies would always contract slightly before they attacked. That was an extremely obvious sign, and it was unknown whether the trial had been intentionally set up like this to give the trial takers an opportunity. But Long Chen couldn't think about that right now. He was focused entirely on dodging. His spiritual strength was fully activated. He wanted to train his dodging reflex time passed. Long Chen was struck less and less frequently. In the end, he stayed permanently on the ground and began to weave back and forth through the slight gaps between the magical beasts. That increased the danger even more. It was like dancing on the tip of a blade. Now that he was dodging completely on the ground, the level of danger had increased by tens of times. His body was immediately covered in blood, but he still gritted his teeth and continued. He didn't heal himself. A person had to be vicious to themselves to get stronger. It was unknown how many times he had been struck. Long Chen himself didn't remember. In any case, his body was a mass of blood and gore. But the facts proved that this kind of bloody training was extremely effective. After an hour of not being struck by them, Long Chen finally smiled and activated the primal chaos space. Life energy healed all of his injuries. Thank you all. I feel bad doing this after how much work you've done for me. But I'll be sending you on your way. Long Chen suddenly took out a sword. Sword light blossomed as he finally went on the offensive. Chapter 815 The Eighth Level Translator Born to be Long Chen flashed through the air. Dodging a claw, his sword slashed through a magical beast's neck, causing its head to fall. After that slash, Long Chen had found that while these magical beasts' auras were on the same level as true seventh rank magical beasts, their attacks were a bit inferior, and their defense was much, much weaker. A true seventh rank magical beast definitely couldn't be killed so easily, but that also made sense. If they were all true magical beasts, this wouldn't be a trial for disciples, but a slaughter. That beheaded magical beast instantly transformed into a ray of light that returned to the carvings on the wall. The number of magical beasts attacking Long Chen dropped by one. As Long Chen retreated from those attacks, his sword flashed. Seeing magical beasts revealing an opening after their attack, he appeared by their side. With two more strikes of his sword, two more magical beasts were killed and flew back into the wall. No wonder Wang Junmo likes using such a thin sword. With this kind of movement art, the more agile the weapon, the more smoothly and easily it can be used. Long Chen came to a sudden comprehension. This kind of movement art required an agile martial weapon. If he used a large saber, it would be too irritating and difficult. Suddenly, Long Chen pushed the lightning body blink to the peak and the battlefield was filled with his afterimages. Lightning flashed as magical beasts were killed one by one. In just a few breaths, all of them were killed. The only one left in the arena was an excited Long Chen. The lightning body blink is amazing. He, Wang Junmo, just wait. I'll make you cough up everything you took. Suddenly, a stone door opened once more. Long Chen took a deep breath. Since he had come here, he would have to keep going to the end. Entering the gate, he saw another huge arena. One even bigger than the last. The magical beast murals on the wall lit up, and they charged at Long Chen once more. These magical beasts were no taller than three meters. Their size was compressed, or just two seventh rank magical beasts would be enough to fill the entire space. There would have been no space to fight. But the fortunate thing was that their power was also restricted. Otherwise, if they were true seventh rank magical beast on the level of the hidden ground gold spider king, then just one would be troublesome enough. Two would take Long Chen's life. This place was now filled with 64 7th rank magical beasts. If they were true magical beasts, Long Chen wouldn't even have the ability to resist. Roars rang out. There were tigers, leopards, wolves, and lions. All kinds of magical beasts charged over with a cold light in their eyes. No one would believe that they were just runic transformations of beasts. Icy sword light slashed through the air like lightning. An ear piercing rumbling filled the space. One of the charging magical beasts was directly killed with a swing of Long Chen's sword. His control over the lightning body blink had increased so much that he could dodge and retreat with ease. He came and went like lightning. Even with this many magical beasts attacking him, he didn't feel the slightest bit of pressure. Long Chen rejoiced. Before this, he would have only been able to fight them by erupting with his full strength. Ignoring how dangerous that would be, just the exhaustion would be immense. It definitely wouldn't be this easy. After that magical beast was killed, Long Chen thought it would transform into runes and return to the wall. But although it transformed into runes, it didn't fly toward the wall. 
Instead, those runes flew toward Long Chen. Long Chen jumped and hastily defended. But those runes were unaffected. They went straight through his slash and entered his body. He was startled. Before he could react, those runes transformed into incomparably pure energy. That energy's purity was almost frightening. Long Chen estimated that this energy was equivalent to a month's bitter cultivation for him. This is the reward. Long Chen was ecstatic. If that was the case, then the previous levels had just been an opening test. Now was the true start of the trial and the true start of the rewards. With this pure energy, his cultivation base would rapidly rise. He was just about to absorb that pure energy when his palm suddenly shook. The Enlightenment Palace star automatically began to circulate. Without waiting for Long Chen's consent, it directly absorbed the energy. The Enlightenment Palace star can also absorb this energy. Long Chen's delight erupted to a new level. This was the first time he found another energy that could nourish the Enlightenment Palace star. Previously, his only option had been to rely on letting it slowly absorb medicinal energy. At the same time as he was delighted, Long Chen suddenly realized that perhaps there were other methods to train in the Nine Star Hegemon body art. It was just that he didn't know them. Today, he saw a new way of cultivating for himself. While he was incomparably excited, his sword continued to dance through the air. He was like a bolt of lightning piercing through the magical beasts. Wherever his sword pointed, magical beasts died one by one. Suddenly, the Enlightenment Palace star shook. A powerful and majestic energy surged throughout Long Chen's body. Long Chen raised his head and laughed. His laughter was like thunder, shaking the entire cavern. A fierce energy surged out of him. Even the magical beasts around him were forced back. There's no need to suppress yourself. The feeling of advancing really is amazing. The Enlightenment Palace star had entered the fourth star transformation, and the amount of energy it was able to offer Long Chen had also increased. Although its advancements were slow, each advancement brought Long Chen immense benefits. He suddenly switched his sword for a saber. Just like that, he directly underwent a slaughter of the magical beasts. His saber possessed such immense power that any magical beasts that were struck by it would be blown into runes, even if he didn't strike a weak point. As expected, explosive power is my style. Although the lightning body blink was incomparably exquisite, that kind of skillful fighting style wasn't something Long Chen liked. He preferred a direct competition of power. The final magical beast was killed and all their runes entered Long Chen's body. All that energy was absorbed by the Enlightenment Palace star, but it still didn't reach the fifth star transformation. Long Chen was panting slightly. Although these runic magical beasts couldn't compare to true magical beasts, killing them had still exhausted a great deal of his energy. That was the price of wasting energy to satisfy himself. If he had used the lightning body blink and technique, it would have been a bit slower, but it would have saved a great deal of energy. The wall slowly opened but Long Chen didn't immediately enter. Looking from the outside, he saw that it was another immense arena. The difference was that there were even more magical beast carvings inside. If it was like this, then Long Chen was relieved. But suddenly, the door began to shut. Long Chen jumped and hastily rushed in. This trial actually didn't give him any time to rest. He had only just entered when the murals lit up. Roaring filled his ears as he was surrounded by over a hundred magical beasts. There were a total of 128 of them which was twice the amount of the third level. The fortunate thing was that their power was about the same. It was just their numbers that were increasing. Long Chen could still handle that, but there were truly too many magical beasts now, and Long Chen didn't have much space to move anymore. He began to suffer injuries again. Long Chen furiously released his full strength. His divine ring appeared and four stars revolved in his eyes. His saber swept through these magical beasts, and they rapidly began to fall in number turning into runes that entered Long Chen's body. As a result, the Enlightenment Palace star didn't stand on courtesy and directly absorbed them all. The Enlightenment Palace star had only just entered the fourth star transformation on the last level, but due to the immense energy entering Long Chen, it directly reached the fifth level. This speed was thousands of times greater than when he relied on medicinal pills. Once only one magical beast was left, Long Chen suddenly stopped and just danced around continuously dodging it and recovering his energy. As expected, there really is a trick. Otherwise, just who could continue like this for so long? Seeing that the stone door didn't open, Long Chen was put at ease. He had found the trick behind the trial. According to the old tribe leader, any trial, even trials with the same difficulty, had different rewards here, and there were also different contents. So there were little tricks that could be used for each trial. 
and figuring them out could be considered a trial of its own. An expert naturally needed sharp observation and analytical skills. For the trial to be so difficult but not give people time to breathe was completely unreasonable. So Long Chen had become suspicious, and as a result, with a simple test, he found his theory to be correct. Long Chen had a bitter battle against the final magical beast for four hours before killing it. At this time, Long Chen had recovered over 90% of his energy. Once the final magical beast was killed, the stone door opened. Long Chen entered the next level, and as expected, it was the same as before. It was just a bigger arena with more magical beasts. This time, there were 256. Since he had found the trick behind this trial, Long Chen wasn't worried. The only thing out of his expectations was that there were now flying magical beasts. He had to first go all out killing some of them to open up some space before using the lightning body blink. The fifth level, the sixth level, the seventh level. By the time Long Chen reached the seventh level, there were over a thousand magical beasts, and they filled up almost the entire arena. Even going all out, Long Chen was covered in blood. There were just too many of them. If it weren't for the life energy in the primal chaos space, Long Chen would have died, either from being killed or from sheer exhaustion. Furthermore, by the seventh level, the magical beasts hadn't just used ordinary attacks, they had also used various divine abilities. In brief, Long Chen found it incredibly bitter and difficult. He had even used split the heavens and the double dragon destruction, and only then had he barely passed. When he was down to the final magical beast, Long Chen directly had Lai Long go handle it while he focused on recovering his exhausted spiritual Yuan. This battle was truly too exhausting. It took Long Chen a total of 20 hours to completely recover. He opened his eyes and stood up, a faint smile on his face. At this point, the Enlightenment Palace Star had reached the seventh star transformation. After killing the last magical beast, Long Chen entered the eighth level. As a result, he only just entered when his hair stood on end. A sensation of death caused him to turn cold from head to toe. Chapter 816 8 Arm Horn Devil Translator Born to be there was nothing on the walls now. Instead, within the huge arena, there was only a single large figure. It was humanoid and three meters tall. It had eight arms, and there was a long horn on its head. Fangs grew out of its mouth, and its muscles bulged. A terrifying aura came from it. That aura was different from all other experts Long Chen had encountered. It was brutal and sinister to the extreme. Even corrupt experts didn't give off this feeling. Despite his experience in countless battles, Long Chen still felt a chill from that evil aura. That large figure was standing there motionlessly. Its eyes were closed, and it was like a statue. Long Chen's heart clenched. Was this monster supposed to be his opponent for this level? Buzz. Just as Long Chen was unsure of what to do, an illusory page appeared in front of him. He quickly read it. The Eight Arm Horned Devil, one of the devil races of antiquity. It possesses a pure bloodline that gives it immense power. It has already been refined into a puppet which possesses 80% of the original body's power. But it still possesses its bloodline, and its combat power can be compared to a human peak rank 3 celestial. When rank 3 heavenly geniuses fight it, their probability of winning is 9 in a thousand. Reading those characters, Long Chen jumped in fright. Rank 3 celestials had a 9 in 1000 chance of winning against it? In other words, less than 1%? This is a life and death level. Once it's started, there is no retreat. Victory is life. Defeat Chiringus death. If your power is limited and you feel you cannot defeat Chiringit, walk 100 steps to your left and activate the runes. You will receive a peak grade enchanted item. Long Chen was startled. A peak grade enchanted item was second only to a treasure item. In fact, it almost had the qualifications to challenge treasure items. Without even fighting, he would be able to receive such a reward. Then what if he did fight? He was done for. Definitely done for. His old illness was resurfacing. There really was no cure. Despite knowing he was done for. Despite knowing he definitely shouldn't continue reading. Long Chen couldn't help himself. If you choose to fight, simply step within 300 meters of the eight arm horn devil. That will activate the puppet. If you can kill it, you will obtain a treasure item. Flying rainbow. Be careful. Very careful. Damn. This really was a con. When it came to treasure items, Long Chen only had Blood Drinker. Right now, Blood Drinker was in a deep slumber. He was precisely lacking a treasure item. If he didn't know that the immemorial path had existed for such a long time, Long Chen would even suspect this was a trap made by someone who had gotten here first. Treasure item. Flying rainbow. Flying rainbow? What could it be? 
Ugh. My heart hurts. I'm doomed. Absolutely doomed. My see a treasure and can't walk away disease is getting worse and worse. I'm truly beyond hope. Despite clearly knowing that this eight-arm horned devil was incredibly powerful. Despite knowing that fighting with it would be incredibly dangerous. The only thing echoing in Long Chen's mind was those last four words. Treasure item. Flying rainbow. Long Chen was incredibly conflicted. To risk such immense danger for an unknown kind of treasure item wasn't worth it. But then when he thought about giving up. Since the reward was a peak enchanted item. This level had to be extremely important. It should be the final level. In other words. The ultimate reward was behind this. That reward had to be incredible. Wealth lies within danger. I'm going all out. Long Chen clenched his teeth and steeled himself. He calmed himself down and expelled any distracting thoughts. He had to enter his peak state. He slowly approached the eight-arm horned devil. All his nerves were stretched taut as he focused 100% of his concentration on it. Long Chen sensed an immense threat from it. And that level of threat was fatal. Long Chen felt hatred for his own greed. But he wasn't able to control himself. He urgently needed a powerful weapon. Buzz. Once he was 300 meters away from it, a dreadful aura rose out of the eight-arm horned devil. Icy killing intent filled the entire room. It was like he had fallen into an iceberg. A bloodthirsty, berserk, and tyrannical will charged out. A heaven-shaking roar erupted as the eight-arm horned devil's eyes slowly opened. Those were a pair of vertical eyes that contained no mercy. Within those eyes, Long Chen could only see an incredibly dense desire to slaughter. Boom. Its legs, which were thicker than a human's waist suddenly flexed. It shot at Long Chen like a cannonball. Two large fists whistled toward him. Even before the fists arrived, the accompanying wind caused a thunderous rumbling. Long Chen had never seen such terrifying power before. In this kind of situation, holding back would be courting death. Long Chen directly summoned his divine ring and four-star battle armor. Endless energy surged out from within him. Boom. The entire cavern trembled fiercely. Long Chen felt his blood flipping inside him. It was like what he was blocking wasn't a fist, but a huge mountain. Not good. He had just blocked two punches when one of the eight arm horned devil's other fists smashed toward him. Long Chen hastily blocked and slammed into the wall, vomiting a mouthful of blood. He had actually forgotten that it had eight arms to hit him with. He had blocked the two at the front, while another had come from the side and almost killed him. The eight arm horned devil roared again. It brandished its eight fists, and suddenly thousands of fist images surged over at Long Chen. He was appalled. This kind of attack power and attack speed was something he had never seen before. Each one of those fists was as heavy as a mountain. What Long Chen didn't know was that even in the ancient times, there were very few people who would dare to challenge this eighth level. That was because the eight arm horned devil was actually a king amongst horned devils. The purity of its bloodline was determined by how many arms it could grow. Ordinary horned devils only had two arms. The stronger ones had four arms, and six arms were very rare. Eight arms were the pinnacle. Although it only had a late Xi'anchen cultivation base, it possessed its ancient bloodline, which made it incredibly terrifying. Those who had dared to challenge it had all been extremely prideful heavenly geniuses and shockingly talented disciples, which one of them hadn't had any trump cards. But even those elites suffered a miserable price to challenge the eight-arm horned devil. Of a thousand of those elite heavenly geniuses, only nine managed to survive. It could be seen how terrifying this devil was. Long Chen pushed his power to its peak. Lightning runes circulated around him, protecting his body. Otherwise, his physical body wouldn't be able to receive the eight arm horned devil's attacks. Even with the thunder force protecting him, Long Chen's body was covered in blood. The eight arm horned devil was too monstrous. After being turned into a puppet, it had no weaknesses, and Long Chen's full strength attacks were unable to damage it. Even slashing with his saber, he was unable to injure this corpse like body. Furthermore, he found that if this continued, his enchanted saber would shatter after a few more strikes. The eight-arm horned devil's body was even tougher than an enchanted item. Blood splashed. Long Chen's punch was met with the combined attack of four arms. His shoulder blade shattered, the bone piercing out of his skin. He immediately retreated using the lightning body blink, buying himself some time as he healed using the primal chaos space's life energy. He was truly in a bitter battle now. The eight-arm horned devil's body was too hard, and there were no openings. Even his famous ball-breaking kick had no effect. It was like he had kicked two steel balls. It was Long Chen who felt a burst of pain in his foot, causing him to let out a rain of curses. Even such a place was so hard. Clenching his teeth, 
Long Chen continued to fight while he tried to find its weak point. He found that its body was truly like a corpse. It had no sense of pain, and he was unable to cause any injuries. The thing that infuriated Long Chen the most was that even after over two hours, its aura hadn't weakened in the slightest. As for him, after such a fierce battle, he was already starting to get a bit tired. Looks like there's really no trick to this. Long Chen had tried a thousand different tests, and now he completely understood the eight arm horned devil. He understood that there was nothing he could do other than face it head on. Split the heavens too. His saber slashed down furiously. The eight arm horned devil was sent flying, and a large gash half a foot deep appeared on its chest. However, no blood flowed out of that injury. Furthermore, its aura didn't weaken in the slightest, nor were its movements affected. Such an injury would almost cut a person in two if it landed on a human. But on the eight arm horned devil's body, it couldn't even count as a heavy injury. Not even its bones were visible. Long Chen thought about it. If this continued, perhaps he would need to use split the heavens seven or eight times to defeat Chiringit. Furthermore, each time, he would need the eight arm horned devil to cooperate with him so that he could land each strike on the same spot. With his current spiritual Yuan, perhaps he really would be capable of using split the heavens seven or eight times. But by that point, his spiritual Yuan would be truly exhausted. At that time, if the eight arm horned devil still wasn't dead, then he would be doomed. Furthermore, he felt that his chances of using this method to kill it were extremely remote. Although the eight arm horned devil had been refined into a puppet, it still possessed its battle instincts. Thus, to repeatedly strike the same spot eight times was as difficult as defying the heavens. With 80% of its power, it was already so strong. Then just how powerful had it been alive? Long Chen was deeply shaken. He truly knew very little about the world. He continued to dodge around, hoping to see a fatal weak point that had somehow escaped him before. But after another careful examination, he was finally positive that the eight arm horned devil simply had no weak points. Perhaps if it had been living, then he could rely on making it feel pain or emotion to create a weak point. But now it was just a puppet. Taking a deep breath, he knew there was nothing else to do. He could only rely on his final trump card. Chapter 817 Terrifying Devil Translator Born to be Raging Flame Prison Long Chen's figure was like a wisp of smoke in the air as he used the lightning body blink to dodge the eight arm horned devil's attacks. At the same time, he formed hand seals, and endless flame runes condensed in the air. Boom! An immense flame prison trapped the eight arm horned devil. After completing that, Long Chen became a bit pale as he gasped for breath. The raging flame prison was a kind of spatial magical art. Once it was formed, it couldn't be moved. If he hadn't trapped the eight arm horned devil, all his efforts would have been wasted. To lock onto an opponent during such an intense battle was extremely difficult. It was even more difficult in such a close range hand to hand battle. Furthermore, this was his first time using the raging flame prison without holding back. It immediately drew all his spiritual yuan and spiritual strength. Now, he was in a feeble state, and his head hurt fiercely. That was a sign he had overdrawn his spiritual strength. The eight arm horned devil continuously attacked the flame prison, vainly trying to break it, but it was unable to shatter the chains formed by the flame runes. This flame prison was not the same as when Long Chen had just been testing it. This time, he was using his full strength, and this attack was the strongest one Long Chen could use right now. The eight arm horned devil charged left and right, trying to break through. Its body was covered in faint flame runes that began to ignite. It quickly became a flame devil. As it began to burn, Long Chen wiped off some cold sweat. This puppet wasn't afraid of thunder force, and its body was incomparably tough. If even the raging flame prison was ineffective against it, he really would be doomed. The eight arm horned devil continuously charged to the edge of the prison, but those edges had chains condensed of flame runes. No matter how it tried, they were unbreakable. Now he finally saw its weak point. Once it was trapped, it only knew how to instinctively struggle. That made Long Chen sigh with relief. If this continued, it would definitely die. After all, his flame runes came from the earth flame. Its power was limitless. A human would have long since burned to ash or melted. Even a rank 3 celestial wouldn't be able to resist. But this eight arm horned devil's body was too tough. Despite being covered in flames, it continued to attack the prison. Due to its intense attacks, the flame prison was constantly shaking. The entire cavern was also quivering with it. It was fortunate that the raging flame prison was exceedingly sturdy. Without the raging flame prison, I would probably have died here. How could this eight arm horned devil be so terrifying? 
Is it really only at the Xi'anshan realm? This was Long Chen's first time receiving such a blow to his confidence. Just what kind of terrifying origin did this eight arm horned devil have? How could such a terrifying thing exist without anyone in the outside world knowing about it? Although the ancient legends mentioned battles between gods and devils, those were just legends. Furthermore, there were all kinds of sinister images of devils, but those were just drawn from humans' imagination. Devils? Existences that can challenge gods? They must be real, or there wouldn't be legends of their battles. Long Chen suddenly felt a chill. He had a bad premonition. From the old tribe leader, he had learned that the immemorial path had been a trial world created for the geniuses of ancient times. In those times, the spiritual key in the world had been overflowing, and the cultivation world had been in its golden age. The treatment that geniuses received back then compared to now was as different as heaven and earth. Those ancient disciples received resources and treatment like they were crown princes, while the geniuses of today were poor beggars in comparison. Since there was a legend that there had been an immense battle back then, that meant that the devil races were capable of contending against the god races. And if that were true, the eight-arm horned devil suddenly roared. It stepped back a few steps, and its horn suddenly lit up. A ray of light pierced the prison and shot towards Long Chen. Long Chen was startled and hastily dodged. The light pierced right past his body and struck the wall. That wall, which had been unbreakable since the start, was pierced through as easily as if it were tofu. If Long Chen's reactions had been the slightest bit slower, he would have been struck head on. And if that had happened, he doubted he would have been able to keep his life. It was unknown what kind of energy was behind that light for it to break through such an indestructible wall. That meant that whatever that ray of light was, it possessed some kind of energy that Long Chen had never seen before. Long Chen also realized why he had been so uneasy. It was because he had overlooked an extremely crucial point to the introduction of the eight arm horned devil that he had read at the beginning, that had almost caused him to lose his life. That introduction had described just how strong the eight arm horned devil was. It had said that rank 3 celestials had a 9 in a thousand chance of defeating it, but Long Chen had thought that those rank 3 celestials were those like Xu Guanzi, and those that should be able to win were people like Zhu Yu and Wang Junmo. He had forgotten one critical matter. Time. The immemorial path's trials were for those ancient disciples, not the disciples of this declined era. In the current age, the cultivation civilization was practically about to reach an end. Now seeing the eight arm horned devil's powerful ray attack, Long Chen immediately had a bad feeling. It was switching from close range to long range battle. Boom. He just barely dodged another ray, and his expression suddenly changed. This ray attack was not a limited move. The eight arm horned devil was able to use it as many times and as fast as it wanted. Rays of light continuously shot at him at an inconceivable speed, causing Long Chen's movements to be a mess. He sensed the threat of death from each of those rays. If he was struck by one, his physical body would probably immediately be blown apart. Seeing it attack faster and faster, Long Chen clenched his teeth and formed new hand seals. His little remaining spiritual yuan and spiritual strength gathered. At the same time, his blood key surged as he used it to stimulate the flame runes. Flame prison death blow. Following Long Chen's shout, the flame prison rapidly shrank. In the end, it was like a birdcage trapping a large gorilla. It fiercely compressed the eight arm horned devil. Being crushed by the cage, it was no longer able to use its ray attack. It had to focus all its power on fighting against the shrinking cage. The flame prison had two forms. One was the trapping form, while one was the death blow form. The trapping form merely had the flame runes automatically circulate. There was no need to control them. They would automatically kill whatever was inside. The death blow form multiplied the killing power of the flame prison, but it exhausted even more spiritual strength and spiritual yuan. Long Chen hadn't wanted to use this move. One reason was because he hadn't used it before, and so he didn't know whether it would work. But the other reason was that his current strength wasn't enough to use it. The slightest error would bring him a backlash from heaven and earth's energy. The raging flame prison was created through using his own runic flame energy to draw out the world's flame elemental energy. He was only putting in a tenth of the energy. The remaining 90% of its power came from heaven and earth. There was a certain saying. It's easier to invite the devil in than to send him away. Once his spiritual yuan and spiritual strength ran out, he would be unable to control the elemental energy, and that power would erupt. At that time, he might not even have a corpse left. That was why sea expansion experts wouldn't use magical arts despite having the power to use them. Unless they were pushed to the brink of death, they definitely wouldn't use them. 
because then their death might come even faster. Long Chen was also only doing this because he was driven to the brink. He could only go beyond his limits now. Otherwise, if he allowed the eight arm horned devil to continue attacking, just one strike could be fatal. Long Chen pushed his power to his peak. His head felt like it was splitting, and he was beginning to overdraft his spiritual yuan. The earth flame was pushing itself, sending all its energy to Long Chen. The eight arm horned devil roared furiously. The raging flame prison had now shrunk to seven feet. It tightly bound the eight arm horned devil's body. Under that terrifying pressure, its body was already starting to deform. Some of its flesh was squeezed out of the flame prison. The eight arm horned devil's body had been burning this entire time. But what infuriated Long Chen was that its body was like a candle. Even after burning for so long, it was still fine. Instead, some oil began to drip out. Fuck, this isn't an oil refinery. Am I supposed to use that for stir fry? Long Chen cursed furiously as he crazily pushed his limits, squeezing out his potential. In this life and death moment, he had to go all out. As he crazily pushed himself, the raging flame prison continued to shrink. The eight arm horned devil was no longer able to move. In fact, it couldn't even roar. It was just a deathbed struggle. Drip, drip, drip. Long Chen's sweat continuously fell to the floor. He was growing paler and paler, and his breathing was becoming labored. He had reached an absolute limit. They were at the final moment. Long Chen was like a lamp that had run out of oil, but the eight arm horned devil was also on the verge of death. Victory would be decided by who could endure to the end. Suddenly, the raging flame prison, which had shrunk to just five feet, expanded. Long Chen sighed inside. It was over. The flame prison had expanded because he had finally reached his limit. He was unable to keep compressing it, and the eight arm horned devil still wasn't dead. It crazily forced back the flame prison. Long Chen sighed. He had truly done all he could. There was no way around it. Right now, the only thing he could do was interrupt Bloodrinker's seclusion. Otherwise, he was definitely dead. Just as the raging flame prison was growing weaker and weaker, looking like it would shatter at any moment, chanting filled the air. Chapter 818 Mysterious Figure Translator Born to be the chanting was grand and powerful. It was like the murmuring of the gods. It grew louder and louder. The cavern was shaking as the chanting filled the entire world. The Nirvana scripture. Long Chen's heart shook. He hadn't done anything and wasn't the one who had activated the Nirvana scripture. It was the Nirvana scripture that had automatically activated itself. Back in the pill tower when he had obtained the Nirvana scripture, he had used it to resist the suppression of the cry of the heavenly deos even without the divine ring. Its power was incredibly great. But once he had left the pill tower and abandoned his identity as Long San, he had no longer needed to conceal the divine ring. So he hadn't used the Nirvana scripture again. Although the Nirvana scripture was powerful, it was greatly lacking compared to the divine ring. But now it had appeared on its own. All of Long Chen's spiritual yuan and attention was focused on controlling the raging flame prison. He hadn't had the slightest bit of energy left over to activate the Nirvana scripture. As the Nirvana scripture activated, the chanting grew more and more resounding. Long Chen suddenly noticed that the raging flame prison, which had been on the verge of collapsing, had suddenly begun to grow stronger. Its runes grew brighter and brighter. The Nirvana scripture can actually draw out all the flame energy in the world for me to use. Long Chen suddenly realized that he had underestimated the Pill Tower's sacred flame cannon. He hastily formed hand seals, supporting the raging flame prison. At the same time, he also began to chant. Although he didn't know the scripture's meaning, when he had cultivated the Nirvana scripture, that sound was deeply imprinted in his head. He was unable to forget it even if he tried, and he felt a subtle closeness toward it. His voice wasn't the slightest bit sluggish as he chanted. The words just floated out of him. As he chanted, the chanting in the air grew even louder. The flame energy of the world flowed toward the raging flame prison. It grew stronger and stronger, no longer seeming on the verge of breaking. Flame prison death blow. Long Chen was excited as he activated the death blow form. The raging flame prison instantly shrank, compressing the eight arm horned devil. As it shrank, the three meter eight arm horned devil was also forced to shrink. Its skin had already begun to char this time, and black layers of it began to shed. When that skin shed, it instantly turned to ash. As that skin fell, Long Chen suddenly noticed a mass of runes where the eight arm horned devil's flesh should be. That was a slight secret to how this puppet had been made. Those runes should be the crux of how the eight arm horned devil had maintained 80% of its power, while also retaining some of its battle instinct. 
Long Chen continued to chant the Nirvana scripture as he compressed the raging flame prison. Heaven and earth raged. The flame prison's power continued to increase. The eight-armed horned devil was now just compressed into a five-foot cube. It was impossible to tell its original figure anymore. Boom. Finally, the eight-armed horned devil was compressed to the peak and exploded. Its flesh and runes had only just erupted when they were burned to ash. The runes were instantly ignited with flames, and a piercing burning smell gushed forth. Long Chen also collapsed on the ground and fainted. This time, he had harshly overdrafted his spiritual yuan and spiritual strength. If the Nirvana scripture hadn't appeared in the end and let him see some hope, he probably wouldn't have been able to endure for so long. Even unconscious, he felt like a million needles were stabbing into his head. He was filled with pain. He knew this was a self-protective instinct of the soul. It was using this pain to provoke him, not letting him enter a state of quasi-death. If his soul did enter a quasi-death state, then it would be impossible to awaken without some outside force. Furthermore, in that state, his spiritual strength might completely run out. Then he would really die. After an unknown amount of time, Long Chen opened his eyes. The cavern was still there, but that fierce eight-arm horned devil was gone. His head still hurt intensely. He consumed a soul-nourishing pill to alleviate the pain. However, his body was still in a weak and feeble state. It was like he was ill. That was a symptom of overdrafting his spiritual yuan. But that wasn't something he was worried about. Overdrafting spiritual yuan wasn't as bad as overdrafting spiritual strength. Consuming some yuan key pills as well as some complementary pills. Long Chen's pale face gradually grew rosier. After two hours, he was capable of standing and walking. That really was too dangerous. Fuck. I'm stupid. The quality between ancient and current cultivators is ridiculously great. Even peak experts in the current era were nothing in the ancient era. I don't even know if my power can count as average. Sighed Long Chen. He felt regret. This mistake had almost cost him his life. That eight-arm horned devil had been too powerful. Long Chen also experienced just how powerful the ancient experts had to have been. It was unexpected that it would be the Nirvana scripture that saved him in the end. It seemed he would have to study it in the future. A scripture that could be considered a sacred canon by the Pill Tower definitely had to have extraordinary origins. Taking a deep breath, Long Chen checked his body over and became delighted. While he had been unconscious, something had happened to the Enlightenment Palace star, and it had entered the eighth star transformation. That was three advancements. It was just one step from reaching the peak. Then he would be able to summon the true four-color divine ring and four-star battle armor. Before the Enlightenment Palace star reached the ninth star transformation, the battle armor he was summoning was more accurately the three-star battle armor. It was stronger than the original three-star battle armor, but when compared to the power of the true four-star battle armor after the ninth star transformation, the difference was like that between heaven and earth. Just thinking about such an intense upgrade made him feel endless excitement. Although it hasn't reached the peak, each advancement increases my power a great deal. However, he knew that he probably wouldn't have a chance to make such explosive gains in the future. Even now, he didn't know what energy this trial was blessing him with for the Enlightenment Palace star to be able to absorb it. But there was one discovery Long Chen made. When the Enlightenment Palace star absorbed that energy, it didn't directly absorb it. Instead, it first transformed it into another kind of energy. During that process, a portion of the original energy was rejected, while the other was absorbed by the Enlightenment Palace star. Although he only knew that little, it was a good sign. In the future, he would be more attentive. Perhaps he would be able to find more kinds of energy other than medicinal energy that could be absorbed. The nine star transformations became more difficult the closer they got to the end. The number of medicinal pills required could only be described as an ocean's worth. If that energy had to be absorbed relying only on the mouth, it really would be unbearable. That's right. Where's the reward? Where's the flying rainbow? Long Chen suddenly thought of the reward. Having almost lost his life just now, it seemed now was the time to reap the rewards. Carefully looking around, he suddenly noticed that a path had opened in a wall. Walking through it, he saw a sword lying on an exquisite platform. It was an extremely simple sword. An ancient aura washed over him once he got closer. The sheath didn't have any runes decorating it, and the hilt was also very simple. There didn't seem to be any extra craftsmanship. It was just an extremely primitive sword. When he unsheathed it, there was also nothing extraordinary about it. The sword's body even seemed a bit dim, and there were some speckles on it as if it had rusted. There were also scratches that looked like someone had used sandpaper on it. It looked very worn down. 
but Long Chen immediately saw that it wasn't ordinary, although those speckles and scratches made it clearly look like an unremarkable old sword. His vision had surpassed others. Through those speckles and scratches, he saw countless runes that were practically impossible to notice with the naked eye. Those speckles and scratches were actually formed of runes, but those runes were too small, so small that they were almost impossible to notice. If Long Chen hadn't known that this was a treasure item, he really might have been tricked. He slowly sent his spiritual yuan inside it. Those speckles and scratches lit up, and a faint layer of light appeared over the sword. He lightly swung it. As a result, it was like space was cut through, and a light sound rang out. He was practically unable to sense any spatial resistance. The thing that made Long Chen the most delighted was that when the sword's edge met the wall, that incomparably sturdy wall was cut through cleanly. What a sharp blade. Long Chen let out a startled cry. The walls here all had formations supporting them. Even in his fight against the eight-armed horned devil, he hadn't been able to break them. But this sword cut through them like they were tofu. Carefully examining the sword, he found that once he scattered a spiritual yuan, the sword returned to its shoddy appearance. He, it's very similar to my own temperament, dressing like the pig to eat the tiger, laughed Long Chen. Flipping the sword, he saw two immortal characters on the other side. Flying Rainbow, so you're the treasure item, Flying Rainbow, he, I'll be relying on you in the future, laughed Long Chen, all his previous regret and depression vanished like smoke, currently, his spiritual yuan was too limited, he wasn't able to investigate more of Flying Rainbow's secrets, thus, he left that for later, suddenly, the platform that Flying Rainbow was on descended, a large gate appeared and light came from the other side, Long Chen laughed, he could finally leave, but then once he entered, he was dumbfounded. He had actually entered another cavern. But what was inconceivable was that this cavern was hundreds of miles wide. He had only just entered when he saw a beam of light in front of him. Within that beam was a figure. Long Chen's heart sank to an all-time low. Chapter 819 The Final Level Translator Born to be what? There's another level. Countless spirit stones were shining, lighting up the entire room as if the sun were shining. Although he was still underground. This place looked as luxurious as a palace. There were 108 white jade pillars throughout the room. The ceiling was a mile high and shaped like a pointed dome. The spirit stones in the ceiling were like stars, but they were much brighter. A beam of light was shining down from the center of the ceiling. Within that 30 meter thick beam of light, there was a single figure standing. It didn't give off any fluctuations. Thus, Long Chen wasn't able to sense anything about it. He didn't dare to move. The eight arm horned devil had truly made him worried. He was worried that he would accidentally activate this level. Then he really would be doomed. Buzz. Countless runes suddenly lit up on the 108 pillars. Rays of light shot out from them toward Long Chen. Long Chen was appalled and he hastily tried to dodge. But those rays were too fast and had come without warning. He was struck before being able to react. Just as he thought he was dead. Endless energy poured from the light into his body. His spiritual yuan and spiritual strength instantly reached their peaks. What? Long Chen was stunned. This time, he had harshly overdrafted his power. Without 10 to 15 days, it would have been impossible for him to completely recover. But this light released endless energy into his body, allowing him to instantly reach his peak. It was like he had been completely reborn. It was practically miraculous. Feeling that endless energy surging within him, Long Chen felt like his power was overflowing. He even had an urge to once more fight the eight arm horned devil. Currently, his Enlightenment Palace star had reached the 8th star transformation, and he had Flying Rainbow now. His power had greatly risen, and he wouldn't be afraid of facing the 8 arm horned Devil again. Just as he was filled with confidence, a stone slab rose out of the ground in front of him. There were two identical buttons on top of it. The 108 pillars once more released light, creating a screen on top of the stone slab. There were words in that light screen. From the start until now. A total of 8,736 people have challenged the ninth and final level. Seeing that, Long Chen jumped. The eighth level had a 9 in a thousand chance of success. How could there have been so many people to challenge the ninth level? Could it be, if there was a 9 in a thousand pass rate, then the number of people who had participated in this trial was ridiculous. 10,000 people meant 90 people had passed. 100,000 meant 900. And... Wouldn't that mean that over a million people had managed to reach the 8th level before exclamation point noveloon.com thinking of that number? Long Chen was both shocked and amazed. Just what kind of era had that been? It was truly too terrifying. He hastily continued reading. 
Up to now, only three people have managed to pass this level. The others all failed. This is a life and death level. Victory is life. Defeat Chiringus death. There is no room for leeway. Your opponent will be extremely powerful. Be careful. Very careful. Long Chen cursed. Fuck. What a hateful phrase. Be careful. Very careful. Last time I was almost conned to death by you. He continued to read. This level's difficulty is terrifying to the peak. Countless heavenly geniuses have fallen because of it. Which is why it is not included in the main path of the immemorial path. Those who could come here are all either extremely lucky, or extremely unlucky. But a cultivator's motivation is a heart to get stronger. That motivation is also the blade that takes their life. Cultivators must maintain a reverent heart. This level's reward is a heaven-earth spirit source which was condensed by the purest energy of heaven and earth. By using it, there is a 10% chance of mutating a person's spirit root, reviving the spirit blood, and giving birth to a spirit bone. This heaven-earth spirit source is one of the immemorial path's seven supreme treasures. It is exceptionally precious. For those who are greedy or brave, be careful, very careful. Mutate the spirit root, revive the spirit blood, and even allow an expert to create a spirit bone? Was that extremely precious? In the Zhuanshan Dao sect's trial, through the reincarnation mirror's projection, he had already seen a glimpse into his past. He knew he had a special spirit root, a divine spirit bone and supreme spirit blood. He had always thought that those weren't so amazing. But now seeing these lines, it seemed he had misjudged his original talent. His spirit root, spirit blood, and spirit bone had all been extracted. He had thought that it was just a cruel reprisal. But now it seemed he had been thinking too simply. Even in the immemorial path's golden era, a heaven-earth spirit source that could transform a cultivator's original talent was one of the supreme treasures of the whole path. There definitely had to be secrets here that he was unaware of. Damn it. Are you trying to entice me again? You want me to reconstruct what I had? He. This time. I won't be fooled. Long Chen laughed. The treasure was definitely enticing. But first he would have to keep his life. That eight arm horned devil had already almost taken his life. This time. Long Chen had learned his lesson. The immemorial path's trials were for those ancient experts. And they were frighteningly difficult. The current age had already declined. Although Long Chen found this to be a bit unsatisfactory, he had to admit that there was an insurmountable wall between the current geniuses and the ancient ones. Therefore, he calmed himself down and continued reading. If you don't want to participate in this level, you can press the first button and you will be transported back to the entrance of the trial. As expected, this level was too difficult. It was clearly discouraging people from trying to challenge it. But people were all curious and competitive. The more they put it this way, the more people desired to test it out. This discouragement was really no different from encouragement. That was especially true to those prideful heavenly geniuses. If they didn't try it, it would be a humiliation. Long Chen had never considered himself to be a heavenly genius, nor would he go risk his life for some idiot face. He looked inside the light beam where you could see a single human figure. However, it was impossible to tell if it was male or female, nor was it possible to see how strong it was. His spiritual strength was unable to enter the light. The most interesting thing was that even the nine-star hegemon body art wasn't able to sense any threat from that figure. It was like it was just an ordinary person. He, goodbye brother, I won't be accompanying you. Long Chen smiled and pressed the first button. A light click rang out. You've chosen to fight. The level begins now. Just at this moment, a mechanical voice rang throughout the room. Long Chen's face turned green and he roared. What the fuck? I chose to give up. But as soon as he said that, he became dumbfounded. There had been two buttons, one to the left, and one to the right. He had pressed the left one. He suddenly recalled that the words in the light screen had been written right to left. In other words, in ancient times, the first button was the right one. Long Chen felt his head buzzing. His hair stood on end. How could he have neglected such an important point? He had actually chosen this ultimate level that would definitely kill him 8736 peak heavenly geniuses of ancient times had challenged this ultimate level, but only three had survived. This trial's difficulty must have far surpassed his imagination. He couldn't help but curse. What was with this damn word game? Why didn't it clearly indicate which was first and which was second? Long Chen didn't know how many of those 8736 people had also been conned by this word game like him. At the same time, he recalled a certain line he had read. Those who could come here are all either extremely lucky, or extremely unlucky. He felt like he was about to go crazy. 
It seemed he was always leaning toward the latter one, and immensely so. Whatever he tried to do, he would run into difficulty after difficulty. Nothing ever went smoothly. The room began to shudder. The 108 pillars suddenly shot rays of light at Long Chen. Being enveloped by that light, he was unable to move. Runes appeared in the air as he was enveloped by the light. Seeing those runes, Long Chen's expression changed. He was very familiar with those runes. In a moment, he recognized them to be his technique's runes. They included his battle skills and magical arts. There were even Huo Long and Lai Long's runes. Those runes flowed toward the central figure. What is going on? These pillars had actually duplicated his techniques and transmitted them to that figure. He hadn't been able to protect his runes at all. It was like he was naked in front of that light, and all his secrets were laid bare. He could clearly sense some energy probing his body, replicating all the techniques he had trained in. The Nirvana scripture. More runes floated out of his body. Those were the Nirvana scripture's runes, but they didn't flow away. Instead, they circulated around his body. No matter how the 108 pillars tried, they were unable to strip those runes from his body. As expected, the Nirvana scripture's origin is extraordinary. Even the Earth Flame's runes and the Tribulation Lightning's runes had been duplicated without the slightest resistance. But the Nirvana scripture didn't allow it to happen to itself. The pillars released a blinding light. They looked like blazing suns now. But no matter how they tried, they were unable to duplicate the Nirvana scripture. After an incense stick's worth of time, the Nirvana scripture's runes faded back within him. Long Chen was surprised that the pillars would just give up like this. Long Chen still didn't move, but suddenly, his divine ring appeared behind him, and four stars involuntarily appeared in his eyes. Crap, it's trying to duplicate the nine-star hegemon body art. Long Chen suddenly had a bad feeling, but then he became astonished. The primal chaos beat had actually activated. A terrifying aura went through the rays of light enveloping him and directly struck the 108 pillars. Chapter 820 Another Long Chen Translator Born to be Boom The 108 pillars exploded. The entire room rocked back and forth. Long Chen was appalled. Previously, the stone pillars had failed to duplicate the Nirvana scripture, but when they had tried to duplicate the nine-star hegemon body art, it was like they had directly provoked the primal chaos bead, and they were blown apart. Buzz. The light enveloping Long Chen faded, and the light beam enveloping the mysterious figure also grew dim. When he clearly saw that figure, Long Chen couldn't help being stunned. In front of Long Chen was a figure wearing black robes. Its starry eyes were electric. It was actually a doppelganger of him. It raised a blood red saber as it icily looked at Long Chen. Seeing that movement, Long Chen hastily dodged to the side. A huge saber image missed him by a hair's breadth, shaking the ground. It was actually split the heavens. He had only just dodged when the doppelganger pointed its finger. A ray of lightning shot out. It was incomparably quick and timed perfectly. Long Chen smashed his fist forward. The lightning runes revolving over his fist clashed with the lightning arrow, and it exploded, sending Long Chen flying. He was horrified. This level was too ridiculous. It had actually duplicated his techniques and formed an even stronger version of himself. From that exchange, Long Chen had noticed that the doppelganger's thunder force was slightly stronger than his own. As he flew back, the doppelganger swung its saber three times. Three saber images slashed toward him from three different angles. Even Bloodrinker has been duplicated. And isn't this move the three style parting wind? This move was clearly the earth class battle skill he had learned back in Phoenix Cry. Now it was used by the doppelganger. And its power was extremely impressive. It sealed any retreat paths mercilessly. At this moment, Long Chen wanted to dodge. But he couldn't. His opponent's moves were too refined. In truth, that was another him. And so it understood him. It was precisely because it understood him that he felt a chill. His opponent's fighting style was incredibly vicious. Each slash of its saber left him with no room to maneuver. This was Long Chen's first time seeing how frightful he himself was. Whistling filled the air as the saber slashes crashed over him like sea waves. Suddenly, a sword came out of its sheath. Long Chen had no choice but to take out Flying Rainbow. It was unknown what the laws of this place were, but the doppelganger saber was the same as Bloodrinker and its power was also immense. It was no different from the original. Flying Rainbow danced through the air. Long Chen was delighted to see that this unremarkable sword was extraordinary once he inserted his spiritual Yuan. There was practically no spatial resistance, allowing it to move at incredible speed. Suddenly, an explosive sound rang out. Long Chen and the doppelganger were both forced back a dozen meters. 
and it suddenly formed a hand seal, summoning a sea of gold around it. Fuck, you really know how to steal. Cursed Long Chen. That sea of gold was the hidden ground gold spider king scales he had obtained in the first trial. He had been constantly nourishing them in his spiritual space, but even they had been duplicated. Those scales were like hail, shooting toward him. Long Chen knew that these scales were incredibly powerful once they were supported by spiritual strength. He didn't dare to tarry and also summoned his own golden scales. Boom. Two seas of gold crashed against each other. It was a truly spectacular sight. Just as they were crashing together, he suddenly felt a change in the air. He also heard the doppelganger's voice. Raging flame prison. Countless flame runes condensed around Long Chen, rapidly forming a cage that trapped him. Long Chen's expression instantly changed. This fellow had not just duplicated his techniques, but also all his battle experience. It understood how to use the scales to hide itself and release a killing blow. Even he had fallen for it. Raging flame prison. Long Chen also shouted and formed hand seals. His raging flame prison wrapped around himself. This wasn't an attack, but a defense. The enemy's raging flame prison had come too quickly. If Long Chen tried to use the raging flame prison to trap his opponent, with the doppelganger's battle experience, it wasn't very likely for him to be able to trap it. So he used it to instead protect himself. The two flame prisons crackled against each other. The outer flame prison was trying to compress, while the inner flame prison was trying to expand. This was a competition of power without any technique. Long Chen was appalled to see that his own flame prison was slowly being suppressed despite him pushing his spiritual yuan to its peak. His defensive range was shrinking at a speed visible to the naked eye. He suddenly realized why so many of those peak heavenly geniuses had died here. It was because they were facing a duplicate of themselves that was slightly stronger in every aspect. All their moves were understood. All their battle experience and smarts were copied. This kind of battle could make a person despair. In less than an incense stick's worth of time, his flame prison had shrunk from a thousand meters wide to less than 300 meters, and it was only continuing to grow smaller. Not only is it stronger than the original body, but it always remains in its peak state. It's not even getting tired. This is clearly impossible. Your opponent is stronger than you in every aspect and doesn't get tired. Also, it will not feel any negative emotions like panic, anxiety, or fear. But when a crack appears in the original's heart, the duplicate will immediately take advantage. That will lead to an instant death during this trial is impossible. No wonder this trial couldn't be placed on the main path. The failure rate is absolutely monstrous. So of course it had to be thrown to the side. This isn't a trial. But a giant con. Who could possibly defeat Ring Somi and stronger than themselves who stays in their peak state? Raged Long Chen. No, that's wrong. Experts don't get stronger by walking around blockades. No matter how strong the opponent is, they have to be defeated through power. That's the only way to maintain an expert's heart. Just because my opponent is myself, am I supposed to lose the courage to win? If that's the case, then am I even a true expert? Long Chen suddenly realized something and his eyes began to glow. He suddenly guessed this trial's goal. Defeating powerful enemies could temper a person's will and confidence. Then what would a person gain if they defeated a version of themselves that was stronger than them in every aspect? At this moment, Long Chen's raging flame prison was growing smaller and smaller, and his own breathing was growing a bit hurried. But he wasn't nervous. Instead, he had a faint smile. Sorry, but I'll have to cheat a little before having a fair fight with you. Long Chen suddenly summoned the Nirvana scripture. Chanting filled the air, and endless flame energy entered the flame prison. It instantly began to expand. Boom. Once it grew to a size of 3,000 meters, the outer flame prison exploded. With the Nirvana scripture's assistance, the raging flame prison's power could leap to a whole new level. With the flame prison destroyed, Long Chen regained his freedom, but he didn't immediately attack. Instead, he looked at the doppelganger that looked exactly the same as him. I swear that even if I have to be killed, I won't use the Nirvana scripture nor the nine-star hegemon body art. I want to have a fair fight with you. If I lose, it just proves that I'm useless. If I'm unable to defeat your Jovan you, how am I supposed to stand at the peak of the martial path? How am I supposed to find my parents? If I'm unable to defeat your Jovan you, how am I supposed to break through all the untold dangers and difficulties of the future? Am I supposed to abandon my family and live a life alone? Would that be any different than death? Am I supposed to watch my companions die while I can only just watch? If I had to endure that kind of pain and feeling of helplessness, would I still have the courage to keep living? 
I want to get stronger. I want to get stronger. So I will risk my life. Truly putting my life on the line. Otherwise, the lives of those around me might vanish at any moment. So I can't die. Long Chen suddenly put away the Nirvana scripture and the raging flame prison. Wielding his sword, he finally took the initiative to attack his doppelganger. His eyes seemed to blaze with fire. He viewed his doppelganger as one of his shackles on his cultivation path. He had to personally break these shackles so that he could step into higher realms. If he used the Nirvana scripture or the Divine Ring or the Battle Armor, even if he defeated his doppelganger, it would leave a shadow on his heart. His undefeatable Deo heart would be tainted. He wasn't a perfectionist, but he knew the slightest contamination would be a hindrance as he continuously broke through to higher realms in the future. So to get stronger, he had no choice but to put his life on the line. He would use his own power to personally defeat Chiring himself. Boom, boom, boom. Long Chen continuously used his full strength with each move. All he focused on was to bring out all his power. He forgot his techniques. He forgot his magical arts. He even forgot about victory and defeat. And even his own life. His thoughts were entirely dedicated to killing his opponent. PFFT. Blood splashed over and over. Long Chen was struck several times and heavily injured. But he ignored it. He fought crazily. He knew he couldn't allow himself to die. And he also knew he had to kill his opponent. Sword light and saber images raged in the air as the cavern continuously shook, seeming like it might collapse at any moment. Boom. A large hole appeared in Long Chen's chest. His upper body was almost completely destroyed, but a smile appeared on his face. I won.